Welcome back, guys. This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, and this is The Real, episode 215 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. GG! Oh, shit. I kind of <laughs> cut someone off, didn't I? Uh, Yes. Uh, unfortunately, in KX, we got the J and the E at the end for... <laughs> <laughs> nice. I thought I thought this was I thought this wasn't Skype. Are we Skyping again now? The well, it seems to be the similar issues uh, with uh, ZenCaster here, but I think, uh, it's, it, I think it's my microphone. My my, my micro my mic is too powerful. You know, it, it's making me sound like a, like I'm on an AM, AM radio. But <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> AM frequency be must fixed be. In post. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, those voices first, starting off with the gentleman that unfortunately got cut out, is Mr. Chaos Reaper, aka Hilberto. What is up, sir? Give us your GG right now. Guys. Three, two, one, go. GG! No, what? There yeah. you go. <laughs> yes. Well done. Well done. Uh, and the other voice, of course, is Mr. David Santos, aka Dream Twister. What is up, sir? Oh, I'm out. You guys heard enough about me already. I already ruined the show. So see you guys next week. GG! All right. What? Well, uh, I guess it's just a two-man show going forward. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to talk about PS5 later on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, spoilers. Was... Uh, <laughs> yes. This uh, is going to be a very PS5 heavy. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to uh, truncate some of the other segments uh, to get to that particular hot topic. Uh, but first and foremost, I need you guys to go to goodgame.rocks and join the conversation there. Uh, and of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. What we normally do is first we go into what we have been up to, move on to various news items, and then finish with our hot topic of the week. This week's hot topic, hot topic. Hot topic. as if you didn't already know, the PlayStation 5 had its reveal event, and what? it was oh so wonderful uh, in, in, in many ways. It was, uh, it was uh, with some information I that. didn't. It was no Stadia. And, you know, not for nothing, it was no Xbox game thing either. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. But the was there gameplay, more gameplay uh, on, this, on this console reveal than the gameplay reveal for Xbox? Uh, I don't know, but if you haven't yeah. seen it, then we're going to have to cut the show and <laughs> sit down and watch it, and then the we'll Xbox come back. One? Oh, heck no. We're not watching that one again. No, uh, I, thought it was, I thought you were asking about the PS1. You saw the PS1, oh, no, he, right? Oh, yeah, yeah he I saw, saw it. it. That's what oh, I'm saying. Like yeah. Comparing it to, like, did the PlayStation want to have more gameplay on its console reveal than the gameplay reveal for Xbox? Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, no, no fucking doubt. No, no doubt. No, nowhere, yeah, if you nowhere want, we can, start a, we can start a topic right now. <laughs> I, just think it, I just think it's hilarious how the console reveal had more gameplay than the gameplay reveal for the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Uh, the yeah, and unfortunately, you know, a lot of the uh, we'll call them the Xbox fandom, shall we say, would oh, would go on record as saying Xbox a sorry fandom. <laughs> the well, I mean, I didn't know what to you know. I don't want to. I don't want to negatively call out a, a group of you know, you know, lost individuals, but. Uh, <laughs> um, wow. The uh, no, but realistically. Stadia is important, all right? <laughs> Stadia is it's, it's my system of choice, all right? And if you guys can't accept that, then maybe I don't have a part on this show. <laughs> well, sir. Bye, it's sir. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. See you next week. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, uh, I, I think, honestly, a lot of them would say that the Xbox... Uh, third party because it's the xbox third party event and they will say well it was the third party event you know they weren't really showing off first party stuff and blah 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 blah. we'll see though we will see but uh yeah we'll go get into that a little later on the show as far as the uh playstation 5 uh reveal so first let's start real quick with what we have been up to uh and this week I'm going to start because I have a lot of shit and I just want to get it out of the way. Mine is a lot, so. <laughs> mine is very little. So. Uh, first, of, first and foremost, uh, I, I beat, uh, completed, or however you want to say, roll credits, whatever, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. 
And uh, that was a an awesome, awesome game. Uh, I love it. I am so glad that I was able to play it. Uh, definitely one of uh, the best platformers, 3D platform games. Um, extremely well made. I mean, it's it's got everything. It's got everything you would want in a in a game. Challenge, uh, humor, uh, fun. Just the fun concept. It's it's really really good. Highly recommend it if you have a Switch. Really, you should. <laughs> this is pretty much a reason to buy a Switch. Uh, so yeah, so I was able to complete that. Definitely very good. Uh, I did also finish uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, I went back. I wasn't sure if oh. I was going to go back, <laughs> but I did <laughs> go it's back. It's almost and, like you had a week off, you know. You uh, time yeah. for all this, you know? It's it. It almost felt that way. Yeah, yeah. You, you're <laughs> probably right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. In all seriousness, I did have the week off uh, for E three, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, uh, but I it was like, I never, I never actually canceled the time, and I was like, ah, that's fine. I'll I'll just enjoy the time. And here E3, I was able E3. to. Isn't to uh, to finish everything that I wanted to 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 do and get out of the way before Last of Us, uh, so yeah, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, it was okay, uh, pretty game, you know, um, your usual spectacles that you would get out of these games. Uh, I still say that the very first uh, reboot of Tomb Raider was the best one, uh, and I've played Rise and now I'm finishing Shadow, and I can still stand by that. Uh, Shadow did have some. Interesting elements. Uh, I like it when she would cover her, herself up in mud and it, and then hide against the wall, and it felt very predator-like, you know, or Rambo or something like that. And uh, that was always really cool because now you're sneaking around, and and I like stealth uh, in, in games. And so those were cool moments, but those were really far, few and far between. The rest of the time, you're you know, you're just really, you know, searching tombs and stuff like that. And it's just I don't know. It didn't feel well balanced essentially <laughs> to say the least uh Almost like yeah. uh like a uh, like it like if uh what's the game uh uncharted without the charm and the banter correct kind of correct yeah. and for some reason man i, I mean the, uh, you guys remember i'm sure the uh, character of uh oh gosh what is his name <laughs> I don't even know but uh, the one that's always with her uh I'm looking, I'm noah i think it's noah yeah I think it's Noah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's Noah. Uh, this character, it, it's and this happens in every game where it looks like something happens to him, nothing actually happens to him, and then she gets all upset, and, and you know, it's just like this. It's <laughs> it's gotten old and tired at this point, and at some point, yeah. I got to look at the dude and go, dude, you really should just stop hanging out. Just just, just, you know. just stay just stay home. I, I'll yeah, handle just, it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Go back, go back to New York or wherever you come from. And wherever you're from, yeah, exactly. So, um. So yeah, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. He immediately finished it. Immediately uh, took it off my my console. <laughs> I was like, okay, done, done with that. Uh, then I tried two games that I tried for a little bit and really just to kind of test it, see how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. I think I'm never going to return to either of them. Uh, the first one is City Skylines, uh, which was actually a free game <laughs> from. Uh, <laughs> You did, try yeah, it. from PlayStation Plus. It was one of the PlayStation Plus games, uh, I think, last month. And is that uh, one of the ones that said I was not going to download. Good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, hey, I for for all intended purposes, it is a good game. If if you want to try a different type of genre, that. yeah, for that type of, it's a city builder. It is the best Sim City game out there, and I know there's a lot of. Sim I mean, Fallout seventy six is a good game if you're into that kind of shit. No, bro. Come yeah, on. Yeah, don't, exactly. be, don't be saying yeah. crazy things now. Come on. <laughs> I, uh, real, there are people take, who like that I, I, game, for the record. Yeah, we call them the crazies. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna measure anything by that standard, then we can just say that Life of Tiger is a great game for those who like it. I mean, come on, I let's be real. Anybody, yeah. I don't think anybody likes Life of Tiger. Uh, the, I, I don't know if anybody that just like that game though. <laughs> the, the crazies like. I, I haven't honestly, met anybody that likes uh, Life of Black Tiger. Yeah, I, I don't even think the developers liked it. They're just like, eh, let's just do this and uh, release it. But, uh, uh, but yeah, City Skylines, City Builder. Um, you know, you got to work on a budget, and and I think I played maybe an hour, an hour and a half, and I was like, I am not liking anything here at yeah, all. You're not, you know, you, 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 like, you didn't play it. That's that's not that that's not what it takes to just to uh that that will only tell you 
I like or don't like City Builder games. <laughs> That's Pretty the much. only thing he's going to tell you. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. of course. And uh, and I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad it came, you know, to PlayStation Plus. I was able to give it a shot, get it out, you know, give it a shot and try. Hey, let's see what this is. And I'm in there for, like I said, a little while. I was getting some stuff going. And uh, and and I just, this is not for me. It's just not, yeah, exactly. you know, it's that, just not my type of thing. Uh, that's what it tells you. Because as opposed to uh, a Fallout 76, City Skyline is an 85, uh, 85 uh, rating on Metacritic right now. No, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But realistically, yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're right. But let's say I liked Fallout seventy six and I didn't like this, it, then it wouldn't matter what those. You know what I'm then, saying? But, then, 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 then the same can be said about Life of the uh, Tiger. I mean, if there's one person that liked right. it. That's again. Well, there's there you go. <laughs> That's my whole point. But highly you know, unlikely. Right dream. You're right. Are you happy now? I know. <laughs> Can we leave life of black tiger alone now? No. <laughs> it, I, I just you guys get narrow minders sometimes, and someone needs to take him out. I'm actually extremely worried about how we're gonna do this topic of the week. You know, without. Oh, without. Well, being... Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. See. We'll see. Uh, you just call me narrow minded. <laughs> I fucking I did. Yes, so. I believe I called you both actually, and I, I and I don't mean that. In, the, in, in I'm not trying to be evil. I'm just saying, hey, uh, it's one thing to say this game. You can't say this game is. Which, by the way, Mad Dog, you were not saying that. You were not saying that this game. Should, you, all you were saying is this game is not for you. But for you sure. come in and compare it to Fallout 76. It's like, come on, it's not even in the same league. You know, Fallout 76 is a. Uh, well, what is Fallout 76 right now? It's in like a 55 on Metacritic. All know? right, all right. I'll keep every like every further joke to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, like... well, sir, you, that was not a joke. I mean, if it was a joke, then I now say it's a joke because I did not think it was a joke. Sorry. <laughs> Anything with Fallout 76 is a joke. <laughs> yeah. The game itself, the fact fair, that it exists. Fair enough. Fair is, enough. Uh, that, you know what? I, I apologize. You're you're right. I should have I should have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> so City Skylines, guys, for the record, is uh is not for me. Uh, and I it's for someone. Uh, with you know, obviously that there's a it's got good ratings and all that. But I'm glad I did. Obviously, I would never put money to it. Anybody. I'm glad I gave it a shot. The other yeah. one that I uh, that I was able to try that I might go back to because I actually played it for a, a lot longer is No Man's Sky. Uh, and oh, shit, that's, damn, wow, yeah, that almost like you had a one. week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had had time, guys. I had uh, a little more time than normal. Um, <laughs> happens when you're not working. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I played No Man's Sky, and I honestly, it, it's good stuff. It's it really is good. It, it's not. I don't think it's for me. Um, I don't think I'm, um, if I do go back to it, I probably will just play it for a little bit longer. It's obviously it's resource management. Uh, it's, you know, and, and not a big resource management type of guy anyway, but there was something absolutely cool about leaving the atmosphere of a planet and exiting into space and then hitting warp and then going to another planet and just little by little flying your way into it. You know, it's a good moment. Yeah. It's uh yeah, there there's something special about that that they captured like perfectly. And yeah. uh and that's really why I wanted to to play it because I really wanted now of course to get to that point <laughs> there <laughs> there's a lot involved, you know, just for you to get to that point. But um and it gets worse. That's what I'm yeah. thinking like yeah. uh, uh No Man's Sky, it it's it's, it's a fantastic game. It is one thousand percent the opposite of what you will ever play just in the just because it's 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 a well it's a it's a it's a it's a uh what do you call a sandbox game it's the universe is your sandbox like the literal universe is well, your I mean, sandbox yeah and it's not like i haven't played sandbox games i just generally uh stay away from them but what i but the really the main thing that that turns me off to the game itself is the resource management it's like you know, you got to make sure your suit has its power because you, you may be in a place where, uh, you know, there's cold. You know, you start off on a planet and it's cold and, and, and little by little is draining your 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 suit. So you got to mine some stuff. So you got to make sure you have it there. You got to mine carbon or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, and then then you're you're searching for stuff over here so you can put to your ship and you're constantly just 
collecting little bits of, I don't know, material just so you can save and put it to something else. You know what I mean? And, and, but you're constantly using something, you know, your life, you even have a life bar, which might as well be a, a hunger meter because it works exactly the same way. At some point you're going to get hungry or at some point you're going to need to do something about your own life. You know what I mean? And those type of things, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't deal with those very well. Um, so that's, I, that's the main turnoff, uh, to No Man's Sky, but everything else on it is actually pretty, pretty cool. Will I go back and spend a lot of time? Probably not. Uh, but I'm glad I gave it a shot. I probably put a good, I don't know, four hours into it or something like that. So, uh, that was, that was actually pretty cool. I think and it's the cool last- that they, the, um, I was just gonna say uh, that I think it's cool that they they made it a lot easier for uh, for newcomers to to put you on the path of where you you should go because that game when it, when it came out or, uh, originally or actually I played it months a lot of months later after it came out and it still felt like okay I'm put on this planet I don't know what I'm doing I'm dead. Like I immediately put put me on a hostile planet. I don't know what I'm doing. I I don't have time to read the the things because 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 I'm constantly being you know radioactive bombarded or something like that. And and it it, it, it turned a lot of people off because of that because yeah, of the I can sheer it, yeah. wall of difficulty that it presented at first. I play that now, shit day one. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> Did you like it? So overall, I me, mean, are you still a player of it? I like the first four hours. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. to where I got okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I was trying to play it also. I put in more time than that, but it, it wore off fairly quick. And mm-hmm. I mean, I, I like to go back now to see what's changed, but I haven't done it. Yeah, it, uh, I, yeah. It's it's definitely. I'm sorry, uh, sorry, but yeah, it's definitely. I, I can go by what I've seen because I have never actually seen the game until now. And now we're over, what, three years almost, I think, at this point when it got released. Mm-hmm. Uh, and from what I've More. seen from the videos and stuff, I mean, it is significantly uh, upgraded. I don't like, like, I, I, wa- I don't know if there's a way and I couldn't figure out how to because, again, the game doesn't really. I wanted it to be in the first person that I recall the game being in. And then it got moved to third person. And I'm not really... Oh. I wasn't really a fan oh. of that. And I'm not sure if there's a way of switching it back. Yes. yes. Um, they, I'm, sh- I'm sure there is. There's like options galore. I just never found it. I'm like, whatever. I'm just, fuck it. Just keep going. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I could not play that game in first person. Was like when it, when they when they released that patch that ch- changed to third person, that's what I got it, uh, into it. And, no, no. And I wanted it to be. I, I wanted it that original. first person. Yeah. yeah that the first OG. person. Yeah. Um, but it's all good. Like I said, it's it's. First off, credit to to the guys turned it around, made it into something, made it into the product that they uh, that they were originally uh, doing. Should they have done that at the beginning? Yes, they should have. Uh, But again, they could have just walked away and did something else with their lives. Instead, they they you know buckled down and decided to 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 make it the game that they wanted it to be. And and it has a has a uh, a thriving uh, community, which is which is great. Which is what every uh every developer wants uh for the game anyway uh and then the the last game i've played i played and i'm still playing and i am really enjoying this and i'm trying to get my boy chaos to buy into this bad boy yeah. uh it is called yeah. valparis <laughs> and uh this game is all kinds of freaking awesome okay <laughs> this is um it is okay. So first off, it is a side-scrolling action game. Um, some have labeled it as a Metroidvania. I do not consider it a Metroidvania um, because it, there's there's little to no backtracking. Um, so if you're not backtracking, you don't have a map to go by. I feel like those are major elements of a Metroidvania. How uh, do you spell that? Because I I can't find it. V a l f a r i s. Oh, okay, Valfaris. Valfaris. on Switch. The well, I'm playing it on on uh, on PlayStation Four. Okay, but oh, yeah, is it's, PC it's available. Also? All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is really, it's really good. good. It is a it is a strong metal game. This is like almost you know what I would almost call it a side scrolling Doom. 
almost, you know what? I think I can True. call it. I, 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 I think I suddenly bought it. <laughs> <laughs> uh it is it, it's not easy it's 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 challenging um but i for some reason i i don't know i have this when it comes to side scrollers i have like a, an extra push where i'm just like i got this you know because i'm really good at side scrollers. it's one of those weird you know pat myself in the back or you know one of the mm-hmm. little things that i i i, I uh, feel i'm really good at is you're good, uh, you, yeah. side scrolling yeah and so i've been doing it for and playing gaming like this for forever at this point so when i get these games and it is like i said it's got metal uh whenever he gets a new i love it whenever he gets a new weapon he does this head banging <laughs> and it's just like so badass i'm like yes uh and is this, uh, this what you were thinking of chaos yeah, yeah. So I was like, man, this is, a, this is a game for chaos. This is his game. The metalness of it. Yeah, the so like, yeah. He might as well have developed this and, and not told no one. And he's just living off of the, you know, <laughs> not even. I wish. It. The title screen alone looks so metal. That yeah. title screen alone. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, dude. You will completely eat this shit up. Completely. It's, 1, good. it's a lot of fun. Uh, the character has Where did three this weapons. Game come from? It's it's a little indie one, dude. I've been I've been following. I've been like waiting it for it to come out, and then when it came out, I saw the reviews. I was like, "Whoa, I'm buying it!" <laughs> <Day one. laughs> I'm yep. buying this shit and, right uh, now. Um, so it is uh, also uh, shout out to Sparrow Wolf. He's actually also playing it right now on stream. I, I, I caught uh, actually when I posted a video, he was like, "Oh hell yeah, dude, I love it." Whatever, and then I saw that he was uh, he was doing it over in Novello Condido. Uh, so he's playing it now as well, and um. It is so anyway. It's side-scrolling shooter essentially, um, almost Contra-ish, you know, in that type of thing. Oh, but very not, Contra-ish. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> but um, it is. But un- unlike Contra, it's not one hit kill. You obviously have a health bar and all that stuff. Um, so you have two weapons. You have your your sta- straight shooter. You have your sword, which you can. Uh, you have different swords. Swords is great for close up, and it really uh hits hits hard. And then you have like a, uh, a secondary weapon, which could be a shotgun. I've, I've ma- uh, using the laser, which is a standard laser. If you've ever played any of those type of games, it's like, you know, shoots everywhere. Um, it is so much fun. So much fun. Challenging, but so much fun. <laughs> you know what but I mean? When you say challenge, it, it's, it's a cuphead again. Because mm-hmm. I, want, I, I wanted to play cuphead, but I just don't have the time and or the patience to master it. So if it's gonna be one of those like super 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 hard games, then I, 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 don't, yeah, I don't know. Sir. I, I don't. I don't think I can. I honestly, I don't think I can compare it to Cuphead as far as difficulty. Um, uh-huh. But I didn't really think uh, Cuphead was hard. It was just one of those things. You just got to get used to the pattern. Uh, once you get used to the pattern, really, it's not hard at all. Um, and this is it. This is exactly that. You know, you you get to a, there's a lot of bosses. Um, you know, you know, and and but it's it's also a lot of platforming. Um, and so it's, it's really, it's a really a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, I, again, I posted the video on the group. Uh, it's also on the YouTube channel. So you can check it out. And, uh, it's just a lot of fun. I, I can't explain, uh, I can't express that more is that it's just a lot of fun, uh, to play. It is great when you take down one of the, one of the bosses and you move on to the next, you know, it, immediately you're just like, fuck it, moving on. You know what I mean? A lot of little secrets for you to, to discover, um, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, the checkpoint system is also very forgiving, um, in oh. the sense that it is it is designed in a way where it knows your next thing here is going to be probably tough. So it has a safe point shortly right before, so it's not something you you have to traverse this entire level just to get to the end and then retake on the boss. And by the time you get there, you forgot how how you know how he moves anyway. Um, but uh, wow. but yeah, it's What's definitely. Like was Cuphead like that? No. Cuphead, when you then, died, you died. When you started the level over again. Okay, so there you go. So, but then okay, again, so you also not, had... So it's not Cuphead then. All right. He, yeah. I, can, I can play this. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, all, that's all I need to know. Because if it, Now, it's not you stupid easy like Strider. Really, really uh, good. Strider is also, also... Actually, you know what? I think I can say uh, this would compare favorably to Strider as well. Oh, um, okay. So, oh, yeah. then by all means, absolutely. Yeah. So. Also, this game has Chaos's name written all over it. Like, it might as well be played 
be called Chaos Play Me. <laughs> there you go. What? Chaos Colon Play Me. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it should be called. Yes. It's actually what it is. Oh, I was, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is called. <laughs> no, I was asking if, that's if you had. What if, Alfara stands for. If you look it up in the dictionary, it's what it is. <laughs> you have to find it now. I just saw the I just saw the head banging. By the way, <laughs> that is hilarious. It's so uh, cool. The the game is twenty four dollars right now on Steam. I uh, saw so there's a like a there's like a deluxe edition. I have no idea what what it has. Probably like the uh, soundtrack, the digital soundtrack. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Yeah. Is it, oh, so is it good good music? It's. I mean, I like it. I music. like it for the game. I don't know if I'd like it outside of the game, but not like not like Doom, for instance. Doom, I can listen to in the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm all oh, right yeah. with. It. Uh, <laughs> this, I'm not sure if I can listen to. It. Maybe I could. Maybe yeah. I couldn't. I just. I, I don't. I wouldn't put the two together. Uh, but for the game itself, hell yeah, hands down. Hell yeah. Um. Uh, anyway, so that's that's all I played. And real quick, I uh, saw a couple movies. First one, uh, Ready or Not, which I saw on HBO. Uh, which I think uh, our own Dream Twister saw and his wife, and I think they both hated it, uh, or at least didn't like it. Um, if I'm not, oh, if I'm I don't ready or not, when the, they, she gets married and uh, they have to play a game, and the game is hide and seek, and then the family. Oh, Jesus Christ, that stupid movie. God damn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah. my memory I, does I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it just came back. I tried to forget that. Waste of yeah. time. Waste of money. I went to the freaking movie theater to to see this. Do you feel the same way, man, dog? No, I actually thought it was fun. (laughs) I mean, it wasn't. It's not an excellent film or anything like that. Um, but it was fun. It was stupid fun. (laughs) I mean, it is ridiculously graphic for you know, and and not like not like hostile graphic or anything like that. But it's definitely one of those movies like, whoa, that. You know, it's almost comedic horror. It was you know very, I mean? it, 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 yeah, it, very, and that's really very. what it is. Um, I probably would have enjoyed it more if if I would have watched it on Netflix and not paid, you know, almost what is it right now, twenty four dollars to go to the movie theaters? No, plus popcorn and like, that. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like thirty something dollars. Epic, yeah. So yeah, I might have cued so, a little bit my view of it. <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. uh, and it may have helped my view that it was. Oh, it's on HBO. Let me just put it on. Uh, <laughs> and, like, oh, yeah. yeah, and it's only an hour and a half, which is fine. Which is like your standard popcorn. Sit back, laugh at at some whatever, and and maybe even get caught off guard by certain things. And um, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it has a, a, a. I don't really recognize any of the actors except for the main father. Uh, everybody else was kind of new to me, which made it even better because it's like, well, I don't know who's gonna survive. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because it's like, usually if you have a, no, a well known person, it's like, ah, they're, oh, they're probably making it. You're not going to kill Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, if it's on HBO, it's fun. It's, it's silly. I liked it. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. But, uh, and then the last thing I saw was Killing Them Softly, which is a crazy movie. It's on H. No, was it? Not? Oh, I'm sorry. It's on Netflix. Which one? And Killing Them Softly. Uh, this with their movie, song? huh? With their song, you with their <laughs> yes, with their song. <laughs> uh, it stars Brad Pitt, um, or at least one of the. Well, he's he's I I'm not even sure he's the main guy uh, because he doesn't even show up until like a third way into the movie. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, uh-huh. I thought this guy was supposed to be part of this. Um, he is a mob boss hitman, uh, and then some two two fools basically decide to rob a mafia card game. And that just, like you said last week, hilarity ensues at that point. But more, not so much funny, more of just a lot of violence. And But it's also, it's almost like they were trying to do a little bit too Tarantino-ish with a lot of conversations that didn't really add to the story. And I was like, why are we listening to this hitman talk about his wife and the, the divorce papers and we're spending easily eight nine minutes on this and is and leads to nothing <laughs> you know it's like why do we spend all that time talking about this uh so i don't know why they did that um it wasn't bad um but it really wasn't good so i mean i just have to give it a meh um but it has so many people and i think that's a, i think that's the 
the the saddest part is how many actors are in there. Ray Liotta's in it. Um, Richard Jenkins is in it. I don't know if you know who Richard Jenkins. You probably don't even know who that is. But um, hold on, I got to bring it up here because I, I don't want to I don't want to miss any names here that are uh, that are big. Uh, ben oh. Mendelsohn's in it. James Gandolfini, if anybody knows him from uh, The Sopranos. I mean, it's got a bunch of guys that look like wise guys. You know what I mean? That you've seen in other bunch of wise guys movies, and you're like, well, then you cu- you get all these together, you gotta have a great wise guy movie, right? No, not so yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, and that's really it. That's all I've been doing, guys. Well, that was a good amount. So usually we end with you. So that's why <laughs> the sudden silence of oh wait, wait <laughs> nobody else has gone. Uh, Somebody all right, else let has me- to go. Let me pass the baton <laughs> here. Uh, I'll pass the baton over to Mr. Chaos Reaver since he wasn't here last week. Uh, yes. Well, I hey, mean, you had first. both weeks. I still didn't do a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Warframe. I'm, I'm doing uh, the same thing with Apex. I'm working on their respective battle passes. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, Warframe is only 30 levels. I'm up to level 20, I believe. And the okay. the second scene of the night wave uh, opened up of the, the the glass, whatever the glass weaver. Mm. I think that's what it's called. I believe so. Something like that. <laughs> Which is I you're supposed to, like I said you're supposed to like do these investigations of these murders. I still don't know oh, where. Oh yeah, yeah. To. The uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the yeah they show the second victim which is connected to the first victim you know out of all the the little pieces that you go through like the very last piece mentions the previous victim which like okay hmm. still don't know anything <laughs> <laughs> um and again I've been playing Apex I've, I've been doing most of my challenges I think they've done like eight of the scenes so far okay. of the little cutscenes that are not really cutscenes because you just kind of like read it and that's it. <sighs> Honestly, the PvE thing, they it's just, it's a hard mode. It's, you start oh, yeah, with yeah. whatever they give you and yeah, it's something you can pick up some shit along the way, but it's nothing great. It's, it's nothing groundbreaking, you know? So I've been I've actually done a little bit of rank, which I'm up to like gold. So I get a weapon skin. I don't know which one. <laughs> and yeah, the only way that you can get a trail is if you get to master, I believe, or top five hundred, and you only get it for one season. So let's say you you actually get to that rank now for the next season, you're gonna have a, a trail behind you. But after that season, unless you did it again, it's over. There's no more trail. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. So it's it, that was kind of disappointing, but I you're guess forced to do that to do them, otherwise it gets lost. You, otherwise, you, you lose your trail. It. Yeah. Which, wow. Yeah. <laughs> what a great way! <laughs> you have to play it or else. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, I, I discovered that the max rank is five hundred. Ah. Mm. Uh, so yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Like, if there's any way to keep getting any other like. Uh, loot boxes or like are, are you done at that point mm. um but also I, I really haven't played much i'm considering going back to destiny 2 well oh. uh after some of the news items that i have here you may actually jump on there even uh even quicker no I, 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 i've been thinking about it now because it's on sale for 33 dollars oh there you go wait wait is that game free to Play, or yeah, but it's 33 I... with all the expansions. Oh, mm-hmm. well, gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually considering going back and just. Fuck I thought it. you had uh, you had it before. Were you playing that before back in the day with the? Uh... Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if I had the. I don't know if I bought any expansions. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I've been watching some anime. I started watching Tower of God. I don't know if I mentioned Ooh. that before. I feel like I did. Maybe mm-hmm. I did. Maybe I just thought about it. Failure. Anyways, <laughs> I started watching Tower of God, which is on Crunchyroll. It's uh, I think it's only one season so far. It's it's pretty interesting. It's it's about this this guy and this girl. I sort of explained this before. Maybe it was somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe it's a, another podcast. That. Maybe it's another yeah, podcast yeah. that I'm yeah. doing in my dreams or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember you that? Are, you know, you know, you on, uh, that's where it was. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's it's uh, it's about this girl that wants. I I don't understand because the, the setting of it. I don't know that apparently they can't see the sky. So this girl wants to see the stars. So there's this tower called the Tower of God that if you go to, you get to the top of it, you get any wish granted to you. You can have anything you want. So she wants to see the stars, and the, the, the guy wants to be with her, so he follows her into the tower. Like, she went mm-hmm. first, and then he followed. So that's that's the whole thing, is the guy chasing after this girl who wants to see the stars. And obviously, in that every level, uh, there's there's challenges, and they got to fight, and there's testings, and a whole bunch of, like, wild shit, anime shit, you know? <laughs> and then anime shit happens. Yeah, pretty and much, you is- know? <laughs> 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 it's <laughs> but I am liking it so far. I'm digging it. I uh I've also, there's also a season three for Baki who's getting even weirder than before. Wow. <laughs> if that's even possible. Um, hey, with anime, anything is possible. Anything is absolutely possible. You, you can yeah, it's and I also <laughs> I also noticed that Doro Doro Hidoro it's on Netflix. Isn't that the one that you uh, watch? Uh, no, that's not. It's not on Netflix. It was on uh, Prime. Dororo. Oh, Dororo. so this is a yeah. different one. Uh, it could be. Uh, is it the same? Have you seen it? No, it's just called like uh, Doro Hidoro. No, I, I know. I know what you, you're talking about. I don't know if it's related in any way, but the one I watched was on, uh, which is was on Prime, and it's just Damn. called Dororo. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Does it have good fights in it? Because I might check it out. Dororo? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, absolutely. so I'll probably check it out. See if it's on Crunchyroll or something. It's got a great story as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, But, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think I watched much of anything else. I, don't, I haven't watched any movies. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. A lot of Warframe, a lot of Apex, some anime sprinkled here. <laughs> that sounds like pretty usual <laughs> chaos yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. It's, it's playing is safe. That's good. That's good. Hey, sometimes we don't have enough time. You know, we don't have a week off, so we we don't have time to experiment with new things, right? Yeah, I started working again, so there you go. <laughs> Damn work. Damn work. Hey. All right. Uh oh, is that it? Oh, is it my turn now? That's it. There you go, sir. What you been doing? No, well, I already oh. said well, well one more one more do you want me to add? I have nothing. Nothing. So. <laughs> I don't know. Just try to figure, tell me more about Warframe. No. <laughs> um. All right. So I also haven't been doing it, you know much. I only have two games that I that that I played. Uh. So for some reason, I decided to go back to Borderlands Three, and I finally beat it. And uh, I I stand by what I. Uh, what I mentioned before, which was that that game is it's fine, but at some point it, it, it just it how do you say it? it tires is welcome. Where out is welcome. Where out is welcome. Yeah, yeah. It it at, like at some point, you know, more stuff, you know, and then you're like, oh, okay. I thought I was at the end, but I was not really at the end, even though you presented me almost what looked like the end. You know, um, I if I will say this, if you enjoy if if you enjoy the the ride, I think this game gives you a fitting ending. Like the the ending was, it was good. It would have been better if it wasn't for the fact that I was already tired of it. And I'm telling you, this was after taking a little, you know, uh, quite a bit of a break uh, from it. Uh, and when I went in, I think I think I I had probably like two or three hours more of gameplay mm-hmm. before I saw credits, which was like super long. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, I, I will still say it, it's, it's a, it's a fun shooter. Uh, if you can get it on a, on a, on a special or something on a sale, you take advantage of it. Otherwise it's, you know, it's, it's just too long. It's just too fucking long. And, and also it has expansions. Uh, you know, and, and those expansions are quite meaty, you know, mm-hmm. and, and maybe I'm playing it wrong because I'm playing it just myself. You know, I, that's the type of game that is definitely a lot more fun with uh with, with, with a group a co-op. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, because you know you're not super super paying attention to the to the, sto to the story, even though it's not a it, it's it's not bad. It's not a bad story. Like I said, it had a a fitting ending. But I will still think I still think Border I still like Borderlands Two better story wise because the villain on that game was fantastic, and this one uh, not so much. The Calypso twins are not so much, but uh, mm. but yeah, that was uh, that was. Uh, that was one, and the other game that I that I played uh, was the Command and Conquer Remaster. Uh, Command and Conquer, for those who don't know, is a really a, a really old ass game. Came out 25 years ago. Uh, it is one of the first, not the first, but one of the first uh, RTS games uh, that came out on PC. Uh, it 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 the, the it pretty much cemented what RTS should be like, because I believe the first RTS game uh, that was uh, that was out there was Dune Two. I've heard. I've never seen that. Yeah, you know, I've never seen the game. I can't imagine. Dune? Uh, like I, the movie yeah, Dune. Dune, Dune I, I, yes, yes. Dune Two uh, was the first RTS game, and then. Uh, and then, but but I got I got into Command and Conquer mostly because back in the day, you know, you obviously you didn't have like super flashy graphics or anything like that. But seeing full motion video was kind of amazing, and and, and that game had a lot of cheesy, full like the act like real actors. Uh, well, you know, not not these Hollywood actors, but but a full motion video. And it was very cheesily acted. It was very tongue in cheek. Uh, the it, it has it had two campaigns, uh, but actually, I should start by I, I should preface by saying, the collection itself uh, has includes two games. It includes Command and Conquer, and uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert, which is it's like its own thing. You know, it's not even a sequel because it ha it, it takes place on a ridiculous alternate reality where where um, Einstein built a time machine and he was able to go back and he wanted to, and, and was able to kill Hitler and now he comes back to the present and it turns out well now that Hitler is no more on the on this you know, on the world now the Russian has taken over and now the Russians are the quote unquote evil superpower and all that and it's it's even more ridiculous than 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 the story in Command and Conquer, but Command and Conquer has one of the most funnest villains, one of the best uh, villains uh, in video gaming, and that is uh, Kane, which is played by Joseph uh, Kukan Kukan K U C A N. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kukan Kukan maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah, he, he he he's awesome. He basically plays. He basically plays. He is the evil messiah of the Brotherhood of Nod, which is supposed to be like the terrorist organization that is battling against the the, the good forces of the Global Defense Initiative, the GDI forces. Anyway, uh, for those of you that are following, it's pretty nerdy. RTS, I love it. <laughs> it's super nerd, dude. You this. The this game is worth just for for the well for the nostalgia factor. Like if like if you ask me right now, oh, is it is it something worth playing? Well, only if you value it because it's it, it it still plays like the old game that it was, but with up res graphics and stuff like that. So you have to know if you like it already. This is not something that I would say, oh, Mad Dog, you just 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 get on get it on PC, you know, download it now. Uh, but the the so nostalgia obviously plays a big element. But also, like I said, the cheesiness of the video, the the quality. Surprisingly, what was done in this game was a labor of love, and you can tell because those graphics, uh, especially the full motion video back in the day, was very 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 low res. And they somehow were able to take those little tiny videos, uh, which I believe came out from the console versions of the uh, of those games, because the the the, the real masters of, of the PC that they like they have lost all that video, they have lost all that footage, 
So they pretty much, you know, constructed this out of bits and pieces that they found. Uh, and they got like a AI assisted upressing of those videos. And, you know, it obviously you can still tell that it will, that it, it looks a little weird because some things look a little, I don't know, kind of like a little pasty, a little, it still looks, it looks really good. What what they did the 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 end result was pretty good for what they had to work in. I'm telling you, there were tiny videos, 300 by I don't know, 200. I don't know. I don't know what resolutions were back then, but they were <laughs> lower than seven the 720p. Let's just say. Mm. Uh, uh, it has the cool thing that all those remastered uh, games uh, do where you press a button, like in this case, you press the space bar and it shows you the graphics that they were originally intended. And then you press it again and then it just up press, like immediately. Like it transitions it in it smoothly uh, if, you, you know, if, if you're into that. Uh, the, the, yeah, you, you, you're going to have to know that if, if you're a fan of Command & Conquer, you're going to like this one. It's like 1999. Go ahead and pick it up. You know, otherwise, you will have to really like RTS games to to go back to because, like I said, it still plays. It still they ha they didn't touch the actual gameplay. They mm -hmm. didn't touch that. They they did some updates to uh, some uh, quality of life improvements to the to the UI, uh, but as far as changing the actual gameplay itself, it's not you know. It still plays like you know what it is, which is still really fun. I can't tell you how fun it is to capture an enemy base and suddenly use, uh, you know, be able to construct the 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 either buildings or vehicles that I wouldn't have been able to control because I don't own their technology. But if I capture one of their bases, suddenly I'm able to do to use their you know their forces against against them. And it is really, really cool. And I'm, I'm right now. I'm playing the campaign, the the, the Brotherhood of Not campaign, because it's the one that looks fun. Because I always play the evil side <laughs> uh, of it. So, so yeah. But that's aside from those. That's actually all I've been doing. Oh, awesome! All right, guys. We'll be right back with uh, some news. And we're back, guys, and it is now time for our useless news that you can use. Uh, we're going to start with the other event that happened this week. <laughs> uh, you know, aside from PlayStation 5 being revealed, uh, apparently finally. Bungie... Yeah, yeah stadium. finally being revealed. Uh, <laughs> Bungie actually had uh, their own little event. I... I don't mean to make that sound bad. They had their own <laughs> event. It's not just a little event. They had their own event. <laughs> uh, but no, there are obviously plenty of uh, Destiny players here uh, in the group. And I want to make sure uh, I can throw this out for them so that they are aware of what's going on. Um, lots of information starting from the top. Season of Arrivals uh, started on Tuesday, the day of the event itself. And we'll let players... Fight the big black pyramids invading the solar system uh, in a new public event uh, activity. The new season also includes a brand new dungeon where players uh, will get to learn more about the darkness. Uh, the dungeons, darkness. apparently, for those who are not in the know, are slightly bigger than strikes, but not as big as raids. Uh, excuse me. Uh, arriving September 22nd, by the way, this runs now through September 21st, this particular uh, season. Arriving September 22nd will be Beyond Light, which is the latest expansion, and will let players explore Europa, the icy moon orbiting Jupiter, where the game's Exo race are supposedly uh, to have originated from. The expansion will have its own raid, as well as introduce a new subclass elemental power called Stasis. The Cosmodrome makes a makes a uh, return, 
from the first Destiny, uh, and is set uh, makes a return and has will set up a patrol area as well as the strike missions that were available in that original game. In a surprising twist, Bungie also announced the names of Destiny 2's 2021 and 2022 expansions. I know, uh, I know, I know what they are. It's Destiny 3 and Destiny 4. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2021 <laughs> is called uh, The Witch Queen, uh, and then 2022's is called Lightfall. Uh, while they didn't get, we didn't get a uh, proper look at it uh, on the show. It was Bungie's way of saying that it is committed to building on Destiny Two for years to come, rather than letting it peter out while the company p- pivots to another sequel. Bungie confirmed that players will be able to upgrade to playing Destiny Two on PS5 and Xbox One at no extra charge. Whatever season passes or expansions players. Uh, Buy will follow them when they come to the next-gen consoles. In addition, the game will support intergenerational cross-play. That means if you're people playing on PlayStation 4 can play against people playing on PlayStation 5, and then, of course, Xbox One and Xbox Series X. True cross-play between Xbox and PlayStation is still in the works. Lots of information, mm. sir. Uh, and... The reason I wanted to to make sure we included this is because one, uh, you know, we have a we have a big group of Destiny players in the group, and I think this leads to some serious excitement for the fact that I think the separation between Bungie and Activision clearly shows that the the uh, the game and the company and and where their direction they want to take this franchise. Uh, you know, it's going in the right. It's going in the right way. Absolutely, I think uh, the idea that the Activision might have had uh, when they had that that ten year pact yeah. uh, was just uh, you know Destiny after Destiny, and you know let's just make it Destiny two, then let's make Destiny three and Destiny four, and 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 going that route uh, rather than. Probably what would have been the, uh, or I think it was actually the original vision of, of uh, from Bungie, which was, uh, hey, let's make this game and let's let's support it. Uh, build on it. Mm-hmm. For, let's build on it. Let's continue. Yeah, we, we don't have sequels. We just have Destiny, you know? Which, Correct. In, in retrospect, I wish, like, I almost wish that they just did away, that, that they went back to that rather than just... Hey, let's play Destiny Two. Let's just let's just make it just one whole freaking you know game and just keep iterating on it, right? Make it just you know the yeah, original I mean, what it was destined to be before. <laughs> correct, yeah. But I think they've already you know they're already set uh, you know they already basically jumped to Destiny Two. Could can they rebrand it back as Destiny? Sure. Um, but it's probably not worth what, it though. Yeah, it's not worth it at this point. Yeah. Um, something else that they mentioned. Um further on the article that I have, but I'm not finding here. But basically, due to the file sizes uh, that these expansions, everything are going to bring, they are going to um, they're going to introduce... I'm not, I wish I had the words here, but essentially what they're going to try, try to introduce is a way where you can load just the segments that you need for a particular season. And then and you can, you can kind of interchange... Delivery? Yeah... I don't know if it's smart <laughs> no, delivery, no. Um, but it's basically in a sense where, like, for instance, if you want to go back to the Cosmodrome and do those things, you can load that in there and you can play that. But if you don't want to, you won't be forced to and have this huge file size. And and all the other expansions are kind of going to go that same route where it's like, hey, you got it. You want to do it now. You can. If not, you don't have to load it now. Uh, mm-hmm. And that obviously, when it comes to hard drive space, uh, is is you know is favorable, very consumer friendly uh, in in that in that sense. So uh, little things like that. I think that I think that the separation between Activision and Bungie, uh, Bungie is ultimately paying off to be a good decision uh, for Bungie itself and for for, sure. for uh, Destiny fans. For 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 sure for sure. All right. Uh, well. Uh, last week we already uh, touched on the fact that it was a very tumultuous week. Uh, it is still, uh, you know, uh, an ongoing crazy, uh, you know, crazy week with the uh, uh, with the George Floyd 
uh, murder. Mm-hmm. And if things weren't, you know, bad enough, we have. <sighs> I almost don't want to say it because I don't want to continue be insulting, but some, let's just call it backhanded uh, post from mm-hmm. some uh, executives, uh, uh, some you know, uh, at a particular game company that was already in hot water for you know cases of discrimination against women and stuff like that, and. Uh, of course, that company we're talking about is Riot Games. And this week, uh, Ron Johnson, head uh, global head of consumer product at Riot Games, has shared an image on a personal Facebook account that lists George Floyd's prior convictions uh, before saying, quote, this type of criminal lifestyle never results in good things happening to you or those around you, end quote. Uh, he is now being investigated internally by the company. Actually, I have an update on that uh, investigation. So, as the Vice report, uh, John uh, Johnson's Facebook post <laughs> it, it it pretty much has some wild shit, you know, uh, in it. Uh, basically, you know, some fear mongering. A fearmonger mm-hmm. image that suggests that Floyd, you know, a man that we know, was murdered by police uh, for buying a pack of cigarettes with a counterfeit tw- counterfeit twenty dollar bill, was somehow in his way to quote possibly kill your kid end quote. Uh, I, I'm not gonna read the 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 thing itself. You guys could look at it. It's like uh, it's on Kotaku if you're interested. Um. The, the the post is like it's like wildly insensitive regardless of you know the the the, the position where you stand uh, it is highly highly insensitive uh, a riot statement uh, issued to vice says quote uh, we will st- will say firmly that the sentiment in that image is abhorrent uh, against our values and directly counter our beliefs that addressing systematic racism requires immediate societal change. Uh, there was an update that came out which has said that uh, this person has sent his resignation uh, from the company. Uh, uh, that was an internal memo uh, posted. And he said, the memo says, uh, Ron, jo- actually, sorry, this is the I I, I don't have the content of, uh, of the memo, but it can be there's a link to it. I'm, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but there was a statement given to Kotaku, and the statement says that Ron Johnson is no longer employed at Riot Games. The sentiment expressed in the image uh, in question is abhorrent and runs directly. Well, actually, that's the part that I was I think I read already. Uh, as we shared last week. Riot is taking a thoughtful and deliberate action to help combat racism and injustice uh, in the communities where we work and live. To start, we're committing one million to areas where we know we can make an impact, including justice uh, justice reform, long-term solutions to address racial bias, uh, and support for local Black-owned businesses. We're also striving to change the face of our community and create opportunities, uh, including uh, including by investing 10 million in found founders on the represented by games in the games industry and helping create a future pipeline for unrepresented talent for the gaming and tech world. Uh, we know there we know there is much work to be done, and we will vow to do our part. Uh, I think when I posted that, I was like, "Wow, wow!" Not you know, not too long ago, the company it was in hot water already, mm-hmm. and now they come in. You know, uh, an executive from, you know, fr- from it, you know, posting on his personal Facebook. But you got to be careful when you do that. You you guys should be careful of posting, you know, stuff on Facebook, especially when you have positions uh, of, of, of 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 I would say even um, middle management. And going up because of that stuff is 
publicly visible, obviously, it's freaking Facebook, you know, it doesn't get deleted, you know, even if you delete it, it doesn't really get deleted, it always finds its way, and you don't know how that could affect you uh, in in a future, I don't know, job search or whatever, not Pretty to mention much, yeah. this type of, you know, this type of, of stuff, again, regardless of your views, you gotta, you know, you read on it and, and you think like, this would have been this is highly insensitive in, in, in any in any like. Like there are people even on the group that were like, Well, I I I understand what they're trying to say, but the way it's expressed, it came up at a really wrong time, you know. So so yeah. Yeah. I I, I I'm kind of I'm kind of glad to see that it seemed like a riot took a, an immediate action on it, you know? Because yeah. yesterday I believe that he was he was only uh, on leave from the company, and now today it seems like he's no longer with the company. Yeah, and there you go. Which, I mean, <laughs> uh, corporate no, what was it? Um, career suicide essentially. Uh, yeah, what well, that uh, yes, basically was. Um, yeah, that's a good way of um, putting it. I mean, I just. You know, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't see the sense in it. First of all, I don't see the sense of that particular viewpoint. Um, mm. But also, I don't see the sense in. You know, why? Why? Why would you? <laughs> it just doesn't make why sense. You, you know, just like, yeah, flames, you, you know, it's yeah. Like, it's like, it's why the last would you? Thing. Also, yeah, you you hold a high regard position on a on the company that is it's visible. You know, I don't know mm-hmm. if the company is it's public. I, I know little of Riot, but it says uh, a lot about you know, but, yeah. It says a lot about you know, and not to make any conspiracy theories here or anything like that, but you know, what other high position you know folks mm. you know maybe have the same uh, you know viewpoint. Oh, you know, oh, and they yeah, obviously I've, aren't saying anything because like, obviously because yeah. this, this this guy just committed to like I said career suicide. Listen, but. there was a great uh, Jimquisition not too long ago uh, that it was basically talking about all the brands. Like oh, I saw the marketing I saw, brands yeah. that how suddenly had you know had a moment to change their you know their logos, mm-hmm. uh, and, and and you know that basically they they, they were uh, they were doing uh, you know obviously they had the campaign where everybody was uh, changing their logo, uh, actually just covering the logo or changing or just making it black, you know, black screen basically. And all the companies, basically almost all of them, you know, <laughs> that stood for the, you know, some of them mentioning how they stood against, you know, prejudice and 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 the inju- you know, and justice and this and that, and except on the markets where it will affect their pockets, you know, <laughs> like Russia and China and you know places like that. It's like uh, you're kind of. You're kind of being a little bit hypocritical here, you know, with your mm-hmm. message of solidity, you know, of, I don't know. It it was a little, <laughs> at first I saw that title, I was like, oh, come on, Jim, you're going to really rag on this. But then when I understood what he was saying, it's like, you know what? It's fucking right. <laughs> you know, absolutely. Absolutely. Most of these brands, you know. Oh, oh, and I don't want to be super pessimistic or anything like that, but you know, some of them might just see see it as another marketing opportunity. That's fucking awful. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, makes sense. Yeah. What were we talking about again? Uh, <laughs> well, games. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna end on some good news here uh, for us. Uh, Last of Us Two, which is launching oh. on June 19th. Hell yes. Uh, and by the way, is already installed on my PlayStation Four. Just FYI, <laughs> it's oh, already, you're about uh, that digital lifestyle. I, I see. I'm about mm. that digital lifestyle, guys. We might have some more to talk about <laughs> a little bit then. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll be launching the game. Of course, we'll be launching with more than sixty accessibility settings and features that will make it easier for people with vision, hearing, fine motor skills, uh, disabilities to play the game. A uh, couple of uh, things here that I wanted to point out that they that they noticed for vision impaired uh, players, the new Last of Us setting include an enhanced listen mode, uh, 
that tells you which buttons to push and enhance sound effects so you can rely on those more than the visuals. Uh, text to speech is featured in every piece of text on screen, which can be read to the player. A high contrast mode highlights your characters and allies in blue, your enemies in red, your objects in yellow. Uh, there's also an option to skip puzzles and or just uh, combat modes. That Death sounds awesome. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I, I'm, yeah. almost thinking, I'm almost thinking of <laughs> activating a few of those, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deaf <laughs> and hard of hearing uh, players can turn on subtitles for the story, combat, names, and directions. You can also turn on vibration feedback in your controller and set visual prompts to help you take actions in the game if you can't rely on on changes in music or other sound cues uh, to let you know. Motor accessibility features include lock on aim, automatic targeting, automatic weapon swapping, uh, automatic picking up objects, uh, camera assist, na uh, navigation assistance, ledge guards, uh, repeat button presses, and several other uh, combat mode adjustments depending on your needs. Plus, for the first time, Naughty Dog is providing full controller customization, allowing players to remap every command to a different controller input, uh, including the t uh, the touchpad swipes and controller shake. Uh, so this is awesome. <laughs> you know what hey, I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like, hey, we made this game and we want to have everyone... Um, be, you know, be able to, to or as mo as many as possible, be able to, to mm -hmm. uh, take a moment and actually play it and not feel the need to, you know, to, to say I can't play it because of either, you know, reaction time, whatever, whatever it is that you can, you can, um, you know, have suffer from a disability that can problem, not, not everything, obviously, but, but, you know, um, a lot of different things um, that they obviously didn't have to do is not required of them to do this. Uh, and, yeah, I think I think that's pretty awesome. And I think with all the yeah. you know with all the uh, the crap that they get, Naughty Dog gets for their crunch, which deservedly so. You know what I mean? I'm, it, it's, it doesn't suddenly wipe yes, away. Yes. You know oh, that. Yes, please. Yeah, it doesn't suddenly <laughs> wipe that away. Uh, but at the same time, we should give them credit when things like this are being done. And I think mm. that this is pretty awesome of them doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I have nothing else, sir. <laughs> Uh, me neither. All right. Uh, obviously, if you didn't hear Chaos, it's because he stepped away for a moment, but he will be back for the hot topic, which will be coming up next, and we'll see you then. time for the playstation 5 reveal thoughts and opinions and nitpicks and a little bit of everything <laughs> uh, oh, and, and i'm supposed guys. to be the guy from the voices so, uh, no, okay <laughs> <laughs> it is time for our overall views uh and reviews and everything we want from this uh particular show the playstation 5 reveal event uh, that went just over an hour, uh, and I don't know about you guys, but it was pretty jam packed with some 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 stuff. Uh, I I didn't I don't think I was expecting that much those many ever, that many games really to be to be revealed. Surprise. Yeah, yeah, I was like, man, this is still going. But um, but overall, yeah. So let's uh, so I'm gonna just start because I have a feeling that we have a lot to unpack here. Uh, so we'll start with just overall. Your thoughts about the conference itself or the digital event, whatever you want to call it, and um, what you think, uh, do you think Sony uh, delivered in what they needed to deliver? Did they miss some information? Uh, was this a waste of time? Whatever. <laughs> you know, wherever you want to go with it. Uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. I don't know, Chaos Reaper. We'll start with you, sir. Well, I, I actually was with me. No, no, I'm just kidding. Good. It was definitely a, a surprise to see how many games they showed, mm -hmm. and how many of them. Uh, I mean, I don't have an exact number. Actually, had like gameplay and whatnot. Because considering there was a console reveal, I was expecting more of the console than mm -hmm. the games, and this was the complete opposite. It was a whole lot of the games and a little bit of the console at the end, which is where I guess. They missed information because honestly, we could have gotten a price out of it. 
Like seriously, it would have been nice. Just, yeah, <laughs> could have just thrown that out there. Like you, you already got, you already got, you already hooked us. Because seriously, that that slew of games that they threw out was amazing. I may not be interested in all of them, but it was still amazing to watch. Yeah, yeah, mm. it was definitely uh, a definitely a, a varied uh, group of games. You know, it wasn't one specific genre, it wasn't one specific uh, you know art style. Uh, you know, it, it just, it was a, it, a little bit for everyone, I think is what, what they were able to, uh, to show Mr. Dream Twister, what are your overall thoughts of the show and how they did? I, I, I thought this was the best E3 presentation they have ever had. Bar none, <laughs> period. <laughs> <laughs> Only rival by the God level legendary PlayStation 4 reveal and yeah. backstab backhand to Xbox's TV TV TV. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was I mean, I was I, I think I, I was very I was very low keyed on our uh, on our video uh uh pre- you know preview when we when we started talking about our uh what we thought that we're gonna uh that we're gonna be showing and and honestly it was because i i I don't know nothing that i have seen so far of this next generation uh which was to say what microsoft shown uh has gotten me like super duper hyped for it you know i think the thing that have gotten me more excited you know was well seeing the controller of it being like this gorgeous you know, uh, white and blue, completely different uh, design language from what Sony normally does. And for some reason, some fans wants to see back. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, but they 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 really brought it home on this one. They will show game after game, and, and there was no time for there was no. Sp- fucking orchestras or or no uh you know people talking for more than a minute you know minute, at yeah. most it was just you saw trailer after trailer and it was not i mean yes you're gonna have your trailers where where it shows uh that, that it's not that doesn't start with gameplay uh or they might show some trailer like most of the trailers that we got here was hey Everything you're seeing here is running on actual PS5 hardware, and 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 it showed and it got me it, it got well me and I believe you know most of the people of the group uh, very excited about the next generation consoles finally you know even though yes some of those you know some of those uh, you know titles look like something that could be achieved. Uh, on current uh, on current gen, uh, in the sense of you know taking away the 4K high res and stuff like that, you could probably do something with the graphics and still have a very nice looking game. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and also, uh, we it's still some of them not really addressing the fact that we have another generation and we're still seeing like limited frame rate on these things and when is it going to catch up and this and that but other than that at least the technology was shown like that ratchet trailer in particular was oh my god that was great that thing was great that thing was great that was that that was like probably the first time that i stood up from my chair i was like okay you can't do that shit on pc smoothly right at that level and I'll probably be eating my words, but right now, right now, on the right now, <laughs> at right the now, moment, yeah, yeah. at the moment, yeah, that shit was I can hear the riot incredible. in, the, in the, uh, the PC Master Race camp. <laughs> oh, b- yeah. believe me, I'm course, like I eating, them. I'm like, I, I, if I, I still have a little bit of crow here if, I, if you want me to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, man, it is, it, it was, I, I thought it was a... Fantastic show. I, I will go as far as to say on the whole thing. I know we're not grading it, but I'm gonna anyway. This was an A plus. A plus. Uh, show. I have to 
wholeheartedly agree. Um, I when we did our our predictions, uh, Cass, which by the way, I'm I'm going to go through our predictions real quick uh, at a, in a moment to see who won. I lost for the record, but we'll get to that in a second. I always <laughs> lose, so there's nothing new there. Um, no, I I said I want to be blown away, and I think I can comfortably say that that happened uh, many a times uh, throughout the show. You heard me if you were here, you would hear me go, "What?" Oh, you know, and it would the reaction from it. It was just like, man, this is exactly what I was hoping. For. And it could, who knows? It could just be because there's a lack of an E3, and this is the only event the only <laughs> you know event that we've had before. So it could just be because, <laughs> hey, I'm happy that we have an event with some announcements. It could uh, be the oh, underwhelming event uh, of the Xbox had, unfortunately, because it's it a could fact. be. Yeah, it could be yeah. in comparison to the third party event that that they had, where it was very lackluster and unfortunately the the other uh the microsoft one looked a little low budget and i i think we can look at this event and go <laughs> sony really put money into this you know what i mean um yeah they, the, uh, just the transitions alone i was just like oh my god oh i was <laughs> i was getting sick of that because i knew i knew Not what they were me. going with it no no listen i knew what they were going with it i know it was like oh my god these are the transitions little by little that's gonna form that's gonna form it's gonna end in the form of the PlayStation Final. The oh problem. my god, I'm yeah. so excited! But they and they show so many, and this is a great problem to have, by the way. I'm not criticizing. You know what's funny? That. Like I didn't mind them, but my wife was sick and tired of them. I was <laughs> sick and tired of them. Like at one point, I was like, I okay, like they overused that, you know. It but was I all about what they were trying to do, but it was all long over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I was, was all about the sacred symbols. I mean, that's really what they were showing off. At every point in each of those trends, and I, I don't know. I just, I like it's I'm a per- it's either that it's either it's, that or you have someone talk for a moment when you really don't want to hear them talk. You know what I mean? I, like, I, I need to, I need to interject here. I, I'm sorry. Did you just call them sacred symbols? Uh, yes, that's what they're referred <laughs> to as. <laughs> uh, by whom? What cult is it that you uh, recently joined? That by is calling the PlayStation them that? brethren. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I use your your uh, wow the sacred symbols. You know what? Oh, absolutely. I was, I was they almost were, there, be, but I, can I actually, cannot vouch behind this because that is okay. some you don't have, shit. You don't, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to vouch. That, no, we don't need you to vouch, my friend. <laughs> the sacred no, symbols. No. In all seriousness, uh, there was a lot of, if you look, there was a lot of messaging going, oh, I get it. They're doing the sacred symbols. You know what I mean? And that's, it's been, it's it's not a new term. Like, I'm sorry you haven't heard of it. If you come out from the rock of your master race for a second, maybe you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> from the rock of my master race, I, co- well, yeah, I guess, I guess calling, it, you know what? I guess if, if the PC, uh, people you know, call it the the master race. I guess you guys are okay with your say. <laughs> oh, so, so now it's no, allowed. I can't fuck Thank that. <laughs> anyway. That sounds like some cult of shit. No, I can't. I can't. Watch Any it. Who, I can get behind uh, it. Thank you, sir. Thank oh, you. I, 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 oh, I will you. imagine. You know what? Rafael uh, Ortiz could probably be like right behind this already, and I can probably mention a few of you. <laughs> Uh no, <laughs> it's no. What do you mean you? Yeah, <laughs> who are you calling a you? Oh, okay. the 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 act. The, no, I'm sorry. The Sony Brotherhood. You know, yeah. that's what I'm brethren. Yeah. Sir, you need to call it right. Yeah. All right, all right. Moving good on. Say, My point say. is to say that the uh, the show was really, to me, very masterfully done. Uh, it didn't waste any time. It just showed you the game and show you the next one and show you the next one and show you. The next. And it didn't just focus on third party. It didn't just focus on first party. It didn't just focus on triple A uh, titles. It brought in it smaller all titles. Over the place. You know what I mean? It, was it brought in exactly. And there's been a, a some sort of messaging where it feels like Sony has moved away from supporting indies and. No, I think here they proved no. We didn't. We're not stopping. You know our support of them. We, you know we're going to include them as well. It's just not every one of them, I guess. Uh, so it's just it was to me. I think it was really, really well done. Um, I have some issues, of course, uh, particularly with uh, the you know the design of the console a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, really? I've come the, around 
full circle. The, uh, oh, well, like no, I mean, I still like the design. Don't get me wrong. I still like the design. It's, it's particularly the one with the disc. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't like the way that one looks. The other one looks fine. The one that's that's uh, the full digital one, um, mm, it looks sleek. Yeah, it looks really, really sleek. Uh, the other one just looks like it's hemorrhaging. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I mean? it has a a disc really? drive. Which, That's fucked wow. up. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm a, this is a nitpick, guys. This is seriously a nitpick. It's not, <laughs> it's not ugly or anything like that. It's just, it just looks so sleek. With like, I was cool with the console when it first showed off, and then when they showed the slim one, I was just the one with the without the disc. I was like, sold. Just from the look alone, <laughs> I want that one. Uh, and then suddenly I started growing a little bit of, you know, dislike for the one with the disc. Anyway, but uh, overall, like I said, I think it was really good um, presentation from them. So uh, real quick, before we get into the games, I wanted to go over some of the... So I lost, for the record, when it comes to <laughs> the predictions here. Uh, and I had most more predictions than both of you. I had three. My prediction was the price will be revealed at five ninety nine with a two terabyte hard drive. <laughs> uh, that was one. <clears throat> Clearly, that didn't happen. No resistance collection or resistance four. That would have been would nice. Have been yeah, that would have been nice. But uh, Insomniac was all over the place because they had Spider Man and they had uh, Ratchet and Clank. So I, I can't hate on them there. Uh, and then full backwards compatibility compatibility would be revealed or spoken of. Never even went into it. Not even a so word. That's, yeah, that's a negative for me. Uh, Chaos, you had one out of two. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2 would be revealed. And it yes, was. Yep, it was the very was. last yep. one. Good job. Yes, same uh, at the end, yeah. Then I wait, know. He made was, me wait. I got nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that he's probably like shitting in his pants. Like, damn it. Not even that. Uh, the other one was PlayStation Now would be more like Game Pass. There was no mention of either, uh, nope. <laughs> either service, really. Uh, Dreamy, you also got one, so it's actually a tie. You mentioned that Crash Bandicoot would be uh, would get a new game. That didn't happen. Uh, you also I, said, I changed it, though. I said, oh, Ratchet and Clank, one of the two. Or was it, was it... Watch that video again and tell me which one I, I said. I'd rather not. So I wrote it down when you were saying it. So I was like, oh, okay. That's what he wanted. What's the, what's the video? Don't try to cheat. Yeah, he, yeah, he's at, the, at the end, to at the end I was like, at the end, when you guys were like completely unbelievable, not believing the, 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 the Crash Bandicoot, I was like, okay, well, then Ratchet and Clank, one of the two. I probably can find this time t- the, the timestamp and send it to you. I do you better probably recount. Probably could, sir. But your <laughs> official your official uh, submission yeah, <laughs> was Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, <laughs> and the second one is no PlayStation VR uh, will be shown at the show. Uh, none of these yeah, mentioned no. having PlayStation VR support, so we'll have to go with yes. There was no PlayStation VR, so both of you got yeah, a no, point. There, there wasn't. Not even when they spoke about Grand Theft uh, uh, Grand Turismo, and that's. I think that would have been one of the points that would have mentioned it. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, true. Agreed. true. Yeah. I, I think I got very nervous when I saw that uh, Tokyo... <laughs> forgot the, the Ghost Wire? Ghost Wire? Ghost Wire, yes. When I saw that one, I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, this looks VR. But then when I saw those precise, you know, hand gestures, movements, I was like, okay, no, that can't be VR. That's definitely oh, not they're VR. Faking it. They're faking it. They're faking VR like badly here. Basically, and, basically, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. So we'll get to that game. So I'm gonna. We're just gonna go in the order it was essentially shown off. Uh, I have to question why they started the show with this. However, I guess there must be some sort of agreement in the um, background. They a have friend a of mine told me just to troll, or maybe just to troll because the moment I saw Rockstar, I was like, "Holy shit, GTA Six! It's happening!" <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. I was like, "Holy crap!" Uh, and then no, it happened. Really? And we're going, wow, GTA. Just a troll. And it was, it was the lamest and weirdest thing they could have fucking done. Well, when, when else? When else are you gonna hot put it on the finale? Of course, not, they uh, not no, at course, all. They, 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 they did the opener. I mean, they could put it somewhere not, in the middle. Okay, maybe something in, in in the middle. I, I mean, neither of us play GTA Five. But you can't deny that it is an icon of gaming right now. It has survived three generations of of, of consoles, basically. Yeah, it's, it's about to be on three different generations. Yeah, That's insane. Yeah. Yes, I know. Unprecedented. So hasn't happened yet. 
we're not yeah. on that third generation just yet. <laughs> but yes, you're right. It's going to go. Well, I mean, it's already been confirmed. Uh, I've been confirmed, sir. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, GTA Five was the first game they showed. Uh, yeah, that really got nothing to say about that other than I admit, I admit, I, I, for the game for the people that play. I mean, think about think about they announced. I play it. Game. Huh? I play it. Yeah, yeah. I, if if uh, if they announce Warframe or Destiny Two or those games, it's like oh Fortnite, fucking Fortnite. They already did. Uh, yeah, but those they, are all. They, you know, you yeah. know they need. They, they, you know they need to announce those titles that are still making map money, but uh, yeah, they probably that, should have open with it. Yeah, I just feel like we know, like for uh, like uh, uh, what is it? Epic has gone saying yes, it's going to transition over. Fortnite's going to transition over. Destiny mm-hmm. Two had its own thing to say. Yes, it's going to transition over. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, you know, and it's like we know it's going to, and you can mention it, but did it need to be mentioned in this particular show? Or maybe just a press release. I don't know. Listen, and they have. Why, why? Why not? Why leave it? Why leave it out? But like, you know what? what? If if anything, they place. started really slow and it immediately ramped up. Yeah, like, that's true. That's yeah, true. That was a quick little. We'll call it a speed bump uh, at the beginning of the ride. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it just fell out of place. You you got to admit, it felt, when you look at everything else. It fell out of place. Matter of fact, they it mentioned was weird. That, it was so weird. Yeah, True. they mentioned right after that everything else is going to be shown on PlayStation Five. So I'm like, so why did you bother putting this right at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just it felt like a commercial before the the show. You know what Pretty I mean? Much. That's probably what it felt like. was. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. all right. Second game they showed Spider Man Miles Morales. Yes. I was so ex- I got so excited with this. Me too. Me too. I was. I am a little bit bummed since since I've got a little bit more information um, because it's not the true sequel. Uh, yeah. However, it is a standalone uh, game. So when it's like that, one can assume if they do something similar to how Naughty Dog w- did with Uncharted Lost Legacy, then I'm like, I'm in because yeah. Lost Legacy was great. Uh, and um, what's the other one? Sucker Punch did that also with uh, Infamous, uh, Infamous Last Light, which was also a standalone game. Uh, but it was a sort of a spinoff from Second Son. So if it's something like that, which, by the way, I also heard, I haven't played Last Light. I actually own it, but I've never played it. I've heard it's very good. So if they do something like that, oh, then good, I'm like, okay. Because the original game was not good. <laughs> the Second Son? Oh, okay. Well, I, I, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good to hear that Last Light was good then because the original. No. But in the yeah. case of Spider-Man, yeah, man. Like, what is there to be bummed about? Yes, it's not the true, true sequel, but... You still look at it. It's it's Spider Man, and it looks like more vibrant and stuff because it's gonna be playing on 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 you know on PlayStation Five. And you saw those demos also of the of the think of the be- the beginning demos when they were showing the the capabilities of the hard drive and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know it's gonna be a, 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 a probably a faster game. You don't have to worry about loading time. Everything seamless now. So it's it, it it's not. True, true um, sequel, but it probably will feel like like something like that, you know. It will still be something be that the, I will get for sure because yeah, it'll be yeah. the, the, the Vice City uh, of, of GTA game where it came before GTA Three. Uh, so, but oh, sorry, it came after, after, after GTA Three. Thank you, sorry. Uh, and but it was not a true sequel, but it definitely felt like its own thing, you know. Mm-hmm. That game is I mean, thing. San Andreas wasn't a true sequel either. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's that's right. San, look at San Andreas. And that thing was huge. So yeah. I mean, if it's if it's like that, then I guess either way, um, I just the fact that they that they're it just feels like a right moment for that to just happen. You know, Sony just did awesome with uh the last film uh into the Spider-Verse, and it just feels like, you know what? It I makes feel like sense. It does, right? It just feels like it's 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 that time where it's like, man, you can hand the torch off, and and maybe you know this can become a much bigger character than he actually is, because Miles Morales has been around for a while, but mm-hmm. now his popularity has gotten uh, a boon, and this should help as well. As a fan of uh, Spider Man and Miles Morales, I never played uh, that DLC that DLC because uh, I thought it was a little over, a little pricey. Was that one? any good? The the DLCs that came out for Spider Man. Oh, I played all three of them. Um, oh, there, were, there were three. There were three separate ones. 
Yeah, yeah, I played all three of them. Um, they were good. Uh, I think the story on the second one was probably the uh, the first one. I should say was probably the best. Second and third wasn't great, and it's just because the, probably the villains weren't as interesting. Uh, the second one had Black Cat, or the first one had Black Cat, and um, and it was this nice little kind of a love thing going on with him and uh, Black I Cat. I need, yeah, I need yeah. to play that. I, I'm I'm excited now. So yeah, go back yeah, and play those. for sure. Uh, so yeah, Miles Morales that looks good. Oh, and by the way, comes out this year. Comes out oh, with yes. the you yeah, know. Yeah. I mean. That was probably even a bigger surprise on the night. Yeah, I was like, "Whoa, that's it's it, they're doing it, and it's coming out this year." You know, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, "Holy crap, that's awesome!" Uh, so yeah, Miles Morales, awesome stuff. Really excited. I think I leaped out of my 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 chair at that point. Uh, next game they showed off was Gran Turismo Seven, uh, which looked extremely good. Um, not really of a racer guy on my own, but uh, what do you guys think? I'm eating that shit up, you know. Did you? So, okay. I, I, th- think about a grand, a, a, a grand Turismo. The thing that always held it back was the fucking stupid long loading time. Well, I, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So yay! According to Sony, <laughs> hey, you're right. It has. It actually has Porsches this time. So I'm oh, there it. you go. Exactly. <laughs> and so now Chaos is in. <laughs> I, I like racing, I like racing games, so yeah. I, I, and that thing looked gorgeous, and it is. I mean, it's it's not a a half measure. Like I feel like at some point, like Gran Turismo got too segmented. Like, oh, this is Gran Turismo prologue, and this is yeah. Gran Turismo yeah. epilogue, and all that shit. It's like, no man, just give me Gran Turismo. By the time the Gran Turismo six was out, I was like, okay, well, I'm I, I got four out. Thank you, I'm done. But, For sure. For this now, yeah, I'm I'm completely back, baby. I just threw a baby in there. <laughs> you did, you did. It we did. heard. How did it feel? It, it felt great. It, it just <laughs> it shows you the excitement level, you know, of for this console. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm back in the game. Oh, go ahead. So the next game they showed off is probably the game I would have to give game of show, and that would be Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Yes. Uh, that game looks amazing. Just looked, gorgeous. Oh, so good, so good. And then, and then they took a moment shortly thereafter to show actual gameplay, and that's when I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, I'm in. This looks amazing. It looks fun. It looks vibrant. It looks, man. I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> did you see some of those reflections? I was like, whoa. I, it's, I was like, you purposely that's- chose this level to show that shit off, didn't that's- you? <laughs> That's ray tra- that's ray tracing for you. That's the oh, thing yeah. that I was getting excited about. Uh, uh, you know, last year when I was talking about it, you guys were like, "Or oh, oh, this is you, Mad Dog." You were like, oh. "Hey, I was paying crazy. attention." Yeah, I know you were. I know you were. Actually, you asked about it. You you asked for like a detailed tag, which was when I went into a run and, and, and Mad Dog went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just like doing that. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah I mean, any uh, any thoughts on Ratchet and Clank? Any uh, anything you guys want to throw in there? Uh, I mean, I'm not a Ratchet and Clank fan, but I'll be down to get this. Yeah, I'm not. I I I like I like it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a, a, even the 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 one that came out on PS3 was my first Ratchet and Clank, and even though I was enjoying it, you know, quite a bit, I I never finished it. I probably should go back because it was it was actually a fun game. Uh. Just the, the 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 demonstration of the technology on this one, it kind of blew me away. I, it, this was the game that I also agree, uh, probably the game of the show, uh, and one that did, I definitely uh, the showcase. Did basically. you notice how he teleported from one side to another? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wasn't like your normal teleport where the camera just moves. No, this was like it's it was instant, bro. It looked was- trippy yeah. as fuck, yo. <laughs> Yeah, this was they were going with it. They, they 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 were showcasing. This is what they can do now. This is what consoles can do now. And dude, I was I'm super on board. Yeah, for sure. Uh, me too. I'm I'm in for that because it's just those games are fun. Um, yeah. and on top of that, it just it's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, the next game they showed off was a title call from Square Enix called Project Athea. Uh, and this is the first game where 
I can comfortably say Is it that Athea or Athea? Uh could be Athea. I don't know. I said Athea. Is it uh, Atheist? Um, could be Atheist. Or, Project Atheist. <laughs> Uh, oh which is God. actually a working title. Or Athena. <laughs> they they misspelled Athena is what I feel they, they have. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, right now I'm trying to look for it on, on, on Google and it's giving me all projects uh, Athena. And I'm like, no, Athea. <laughs> so maybe I'm uh, misspelling it. This is from a, uh, a company owned by Square Enix called Luminous Productions. Uh, this is their first game. So Excited? And there wasn't much to go off, uh, although though it looked really good what we did see. Um, but it's also a new uh, developer, so you know, cautiously optimistic. Uh, it is a uh, console exclusive for a limited time, and will be available on PC on their website. It really, just says PF- PS5 and PC does not show any other. Uh, mm. So, what do you guys think of that? The little bit that we saw there. Uh, that might not be the title either, because uh, yeah, it's a working, working title. title. So mm-hmm. yeah. But, uh, dude, no, that 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 looks really good. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt in the sense that um, I'm ready to be surprised. Like I would love to for Square, uh, you know, for Square Enix to give me a game that you know gave me the excitement uh, that I that that I had when I was playing near. And uh, even though this does, does not to say that this looks anything like that, I'm just giving an example. Mm-hmm. This game looks very vi- the, the, the well. It looks colorful, uh, not necessarily super, super vibrant, but the graphics in it, 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 it themselves look very amazing. It's you know, semi, you know, realistic, uh, mm-hmm. with a high sense of high fantasy. Because uh, you, you, I, I think at one point I saw she was throwing like, uh, what was it like from her arms? Was it like branches or something, something like that? Something. I know she I she or... used her hearts, her hands, and these roots grew grow uh, grew over something. And I was there like, Ooh, yeah. okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, graphically this looks, it looks like, nice. This, yeah, this, this look, almost looks like the, the like it reminds me of not not looks like sorry it reminds me of the of the Unreal Engine demo. On yeah. PS5. Oh my God. Yeah. Absolutely. So first thing I yeah. thought, I was like, Oh, so they are making this game. So, so this is the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Uh, all right. Uh, so that was Project Athea. The next game they showed off was a cat game called Stray, uh, which is a, according to what I've read here, a futuristic cat simulator game that will be available for both PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, and PC. Uh, no mentions of anything else. Obviously, that's always something to change. Anyway, um, looks like uh, I don't know. Looks like a little bit of a steampunk or I don't know, cyberpunk maybe. No, that uh, was, it was cyberpunk. More to, yeah, cy- definitely cyberpunk. Um, um, I just want to say that something that I really enjoyed from this presentation was the numerous original IPs that were, were shown. Oh, oh yeah, sure. that's where I already got oh, over. I love it. Really. I was very Absolutely. happy with that. And by the way, um, yeah, Project Project Athia looks very interesting. And, mm, and there's a lot of new IPs here that I will I would like to see again. But it's like every like at this point we have to just wait and see because you know been burned so many times and I'm not gonna be jumping <laughs> <Yeah>. in again. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait I for blame. reviews. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. I don't and blame I'm you at all. Probably not gonna get stray. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 I saw that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, "Ah, that's probably not for me." But then the more I saw, I was like, "That world looks too interesting." Like, the I, more I, I saw it, I was like, like "This is that. really not for me." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, some details. Apparently, the cat is wandering around the walled city of Kowloon, which is in Hong Kong. Uh, originally dub HK project, uh, has now been named stray. Uh, it looked good. I mean, the cat looked real. If there's one thing I can say oh, about I get it. Stray cat. Oh, oh my okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes together now. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. I am joking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and yes, the cat looked great. The animations and everything. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I, I I'm not ready to con- to conceive that this is actual gameplay. This looks like a trailer ass trailer to me. I don't think what you're seeing here. I thought there was some uh, some parts. I think a lot of it was uh non gameplay because I don't think I, I don't think I think everything kind of uses uh internal you know in game uh, stuff anyway. But um 
I think there were some segments that were meant to be actual game, but the problem is it's just a cat walking around. So what else? Is it, the I mean, I'm, right? I'm looking at. I'm looking at the trailer right now, and if we're if we're willing to call this gameplay trailer, then Ubisoft should get should should be fine calling the Valhalla thing game gameplay element because no 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 I didn't say it was a gameplay trailer. I'm just saying I feel like there were certain portions of their walking around that may have wow. may have been gameplay, but it's hard to say because it was just a cat walking around. You know what I mean? So yeah. we don't know if it That's was probably the engine. It's probably I don't know. I, I, that too. I, I, That's what I'm saying. It's probably in in engine too. So yeah. Uh, all right. Next game. Maybe not for the type of game that it looks to be. Go Could ahead. be. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, next game was a game that I, I don't like the name. Returnal, uh, from Housemark. I hate this stupid I, ass name, but I think we should all sign a petition to Housemark to ask them to change that stupid title because that that's just gonna cause uh. You know that's that's a marketing blunder if I've ever seen one. I agree. Eternal, and I get it. She keeps returning, and it's an eternal process. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> nail yeah. on head. I got it. I uh, get it. Yeah, he, revengeance. He is avenging, but multiple times, so he continues to revenge. So revengeance. Yes. No, thank you. Uh, it looked interesting. Uh, not really much as far as maybe there had been some gameplay in there i couldn't really tell but a lot of it was more uh cinematic uh this is from housemark which is a company well known for their uh arcade shooters uh so i'm not sure they were supposed to make a they were supposed to make some sort of uh gosh what is it called uh oh uh, play on what is the PUBG? what is that PUBG? was that what the hell is that oh, uh, battle royale oh. Battle Royale. Battle Royale, thank you. They were supposed to make some sort of Battle Royale, some sort of shooter, whatever, and apparently they hung that up and canceled it, and they had something else that they were doing, they also canceled, and they all went hands-on on this. So, so this is the third project down the line? Third project since they let go of arcade games. Uh, let me let you know, when it comes to the arcade shooters, these guys are a master. Uh, they did uh, many... Uh, I p- still play Next Machina all the time because it's such a great game uh uh dreamy and i we played uh alien nation at one point Mm -hmm. which was really good uh what's super stardust is another one that they did that was really good uh and then the one that that came out on playstation 4 resogun was a great one as well so they're great when it comes to those arcade shooters i just don't know if they have the chops to make this type of game so uh that remains they could this this could be this could be what they were Always wanting to make true, you know, and, absolutely. And to be this fair, could be the Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and when you look at it, I mean, it was. I guess uh, I, I was worried because I, at first, like the the trailer, oh, it's had like a two minute trailer. For the first minute, it's it's not showing you any gameplay, right? Uh, but that's fine because it's kind of setting it's up, giving but you the idea. Point, yeah, yeah. I, at some point they actually show you gameplay and then you see what it is like oh so this is this is a 3d bullet hell almost is what it looks like but with mm-hmm. like ex, uh exploration elements which hey i'll be uh, i'll be willing to give it a fair shake i mean when it comes to house mark yes i will definitely uh give it a fair shake but i still will hold off on pulling a trigger on it but uh but overall it does look interesting uh to say the least for sure oh yeah uh, next game that they uh, showed off was Sackboy, a big adventure, uh, and yeah. this was obviously from Sumo uh, Sumo Digital, uh, the pass. makers. That's <laughs> 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 all right. We have one hard pass on that one. I <laughs> I liked all the Little Big Planets. This one uh, obviously appears to be a little bit different. Uh, looks like actually they may be going the mario 3d kind of way uh, or at least the 3d world yeah kind of way, so. that's what i as soon as i saw it i mentioned that this is their this is uh little big planets mario 64 yeah yeah or yeah or their attempt at, at, at going that route yeah um i'm not gonna say a hard pass definitely looks cool if you like uh little big planet and sack boy and in, in any way Meh. um yeah i agree moving on Meh. 
the next game they showed off was a vehicular combat game called Destruction All Stars, and that should look, that should look what? They look dope. They look crazy. Oh. That should look crazy. <laughs> it was, yeah, it, it was Rocket League meets Unreal Twisted shooter. Metal. I don't know Twisted Metal. Yeah, it was also so crazy. And, it had like Overwatch. Combat. Yeah, well, yeah. I was going to say Fortnite, yeah. but yeah, because the characters look all very Fortnite, Fortnite like. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the truth. It, it looks as colorful as Fortnite. You know what I mean? And yeah, you can ignore it all you want, but that's what <laughs> was there. I'm ignoring. I'm doing the exact opposite. I am acknowledging the fact that yeah, it looks like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this one here is. A Stray exclusive. Oh, by the way, going back, uh, Stray is another one that is... Oh, I think I told you that. Returnal is a PlayStation console exclusive. Uh, Obviously, Sackboy is. And Destruction All-Stars is another exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Um, So it's not going to be available. Not even PC, at least not for now, anyway. Not in the plans. So that's interesting. I don't don't even want it. Right, because you're not going to have a PlayStation 5. But you're getting a PlayStation 5. (laughs) I'm not even want. I don't even want it on PC. Oh, oh, okay. I want it, it, it doesn't deserve the master race treatment. Okay, I got you. I got yeah. you. <laughs> uh, the next game they showed off uh, is another one that really <laughs> caught my eye, which was Kena or Kena, Bridge of yes. Spirits. Uh, this game looked absolutely gorgeous. It looked this, like this a, game looks like what what the what was that what was that stupid game that. That they used to showcase the the power of the PlayStation Four, and we were like, "What the hell?" Um, with the monster, remember. with the monster, it, it had like a, it has like a, it had like a cute monster. You were a cute monster, and like it was show, like it. Oh, fuck, what's the name of that, that? game? That yes, <laughs> thank you. That piece of shit. Oh yeah, okay. This, this is like they should have actually done this type of, you know, this type of game, not fucking knack. <laughs> yeah anyway. this looks very i don't know what you guys but when you looked at the art of it it felt very pixar like uh and it looked like a moving pixar game uh, a moving pixar movie so um it's still pretty early obviously in, uh in this production it is another one that is a console exclusive for a limited time and will be coming to pc uh so you can look forward to that it is scheduled for a 2020 holiday release uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, so both consoles, and the Epic Game Store, of course, uh, on PC. So that, that's what that's where, where it's going to be available from. What you guys... Uh, uh, Chaos, you didn't mention anything. I don't know if... Didn't even... Uh, didn't care for this one? It looks really good. It looks really interesting. I don't know if I... Like, again, I don't know if I can dive in, like, day one, but... I mean, for now, day one for me is definitely Spider Man. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know, for sure. But uh, th- yeah, this one caught my eye on because of the style. Uh, yes, it does very look. It very much looks like a Pixar movie. My, my, my friend actually pointed that out when we were watching this. Um, but oh, say he, he he echoed your words. It was just kind of funny. Um, you see, yeah, if you see enough Pixar, man, and I do, <laughs> I was just like, whoa, yeah. these guys went for. For that particular uh, crown, okay, well done, well done. Well, I mean, they did it. They did it well. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, next game they showed off was Goodbye Volcano High, and it's hard the one pass. game I can. Def- yeah, <laughs> hard pass. The hardest of passes, my friend. Yeah, it's yes. that was. We're just gonna <laughs> move on. We're not even gonna. Yeah. We're not. We're just gonna acknowledge that it's there and move on. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next game after that was Odd World Soul Storm uh, from the Odd World series. I don't know if anybody here is a fan of those series. I'm not. I a, I, them. I, I'm not. But it looked kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not either. But I respect what they do. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Uh, I'm not. Not a huge fan. Style. I've tried them. Uh, never really got too interested into it. Uh, again, it's another one console exclusive for a limited time and also available on PC. Uh, and then we got a chance to look at Tangle Works uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. And if there's one thing I did not know is that this was going to be a first-person game. 
And secondly, that we will be using hand gestures against ghosts, apparently. <laughs> so not just, not just hand gestures, finger banks against yeah. ghosts. <laughs> yes, I saw that too. I was like, uh, I have to say, okay. while nowhere near as a hard pass as the it's still a pass. aforementioned, as the aforementioned uh, goodbye. Yeah, exactly. I, it's still nothing about it interested me. Not even a little. <laughs> No. And Not I, even I, at all. I don't know. I think this was the one that I, I kept looking at. And maybe it was the quality of the video that I was watching, but like it, it felt like the game that looked the worst out of all of them. Next to the Volcano High. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. what do you mean? Worse in it was because Volcano I think Volcano High nailed it for what they were going. Yeah, just, yeah. just the graphics in it. It didn't look, I don't know, it didn't look like they anything else high. in the entire roster of games they showed. It looked the yeah. worst. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I I looked at it, I was like, I and I've watched it more than once. I was like, oh, maybe I need to watch it. And it's yeah, that's how I felt. I was just glory. watching it like earlier. And I was yeah. like, yeah, this still doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's It was not the stream. It's just the game really is doesn't have anything for me. Uh, all right. The, the next game they showed off is an, an odd one called Jet the Far Shore. Uh, don't really don't have much to say on this one. one. This one, I don't think they really showed anything off. It looks like there may be some des- desert people. You were on some sort of land skiff that was going through the desert. I didn't get anything out of this. I don't think it's, I'm not, I, I can't say a hard pass because it's like, I just don't know. I didn't really get anything. Out of it. No what do you guys think? There's, there's yeah. not much for to determine. Agreed. So. Agreed. So that's a, uh, that's a to be determined, essentially. Yes, uh, then ne- next one they showed off is the highly anticipated for many, I guess, uh, Godfall, uh, which is also going to be a console exclusive for a limited time, also available on PC. Um, also a hard pass. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It, it. Like I said, it's still really it looks like to a me, hard pass. It's, yeah, it's a- there's nothing on that that looked interesting. It was like it was just. Another one of those. You know what game it reminded me reminded me of? What was that failure that that Gearbox released recently that couldn't compete with Overwatch? Oh no. God, really? No, exactly that one. No. The, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys couldn't think of the of the name either. Uh, I'm, this... I'm not saying I'm not saying in the sense of uh, you know in graphic no. quality or stuff like that, but on the on the type of game that it looks to be. No, uh, this this reminds me yeah, more like a medieval, a medieval Warframe. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I, I looked at it as a medieval uh, Destiny, but I think we're both oh. kind of in the same. Yeah, in the same yeah. Thing. That's. Kind I think of how you're I both are going to be set for a, 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 a next generation disappointment. I mean, I, 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 I already no, tempered no, my I expectations think... because I like how it looks. I love how it, the aesthetics of it. Are you know appeal to me? You know it's super fucking edgy. The and, yeah, go ahead, sorry. And uh, so I'm not trying to to go just by that because that same thing happened to me with uh, Destiny and uh, what's the other one, the Flying Simulator. Oh uh, yeah, I know you're talking about from uh, that one. Your Lord, oh my God, Anthem. Anthem. There you go. I know it started with a. So uh, I'm definitely tempering my expectations, but I do like what they're showing. I, to me, I have I don't have any interest in the game. Um, it is clear that they're going. It's they literally label it as a uh, slasher looter. So it's clearly that's the 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 you know they're looking for that exact thing. It's bunch looking of for, crimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's exactly the the world they're trying to go for. The difference is instead of guns. Uh, it's it's melee weapons, and you're right. Warframe already has that. Warframe has guns and melee weapons. You know, it's just like yeah. it's it's just doing. It's trying to do. I don't know. It's trying to fill in a gap that I don't think needs to be filled in. But um, that's already that's already full. It's already yeah. It's already uh yeah exactly. So I don't know, but I have zero interest uh, in it personally. Uh, but I know that our own a very own Eric Root cannot wait for that game. So I hope. Uh, I hope what he saw, you know. Uh, I don't know, man. It, like, it looks good, but I know, I know how shit can look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
All right, the next game is Solar Ash, and it is a new game from the team that brought us Hyper Light Drifter. Uh, this looked actually pretty interesting, and from my understanding is that it will, it actually is a spiritual successor, or at least takes place in the same world as Hyper Light Drifter. So I don't know if either of you... Yeah, it looks very... Um, like the difference is Hyper Light Drifter is more um, uh, bit graphics. Uh, what do you call that? You know what I mean? Like bit, bit graphics? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah as bit. opposed to this being... That, that a bit aesthetic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that thing. Of course. You yeah, know, that yeah. Thing. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they all do. They all do, yeah. Uh, this is an action, action platformer. Uh, looks good. We'll wait. You know, no, 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 uh, no rush on that one. Uh, then, uh, IO Interactive showed off Hitman Three, and uh, yeah. I know that our own Dream Twister had to have been really up for that, sir. What do you think of it? I was, yeah, I, I, I love that too. That I got to see a reveal of of the next Hitman game. I need to go back to those games, and you probably too, because you were having a good time with it. I figured you were gonna like that shit when I saw it. Like David must be just jumping of joy right now. You know what? It, it it, you would think, you would, you would think. I, I'm not like a super fan. Like, oh my god, you know, because I never really liked the the Hitman games before the the ones before, except for when they rebooted them recently with Hitman and then Hitman Two, and they gave me they gave me Hitman One with Two. So I was like, okay, I'll I'll I get to play them, I get to play them both, and I realized like, oh shit, this this are act this is actually a very well made fun. Uh, fun game that you don't that you it's might. It's a very fun Mark simulator. <laughs> well, that's all games, pretty much. That's every game nowadays. But this is a particularly <laughs> fun murder simulator. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but but uh, you do it in such interesting ways. <laughs> your, exactly. experience, your experience is not necessarily my experience, uh, and it's one of those games that that you could actually talk about. You know, oh, what you do. You know, how do you got rid of this person? And yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it, it is definitely a fun series. And I'm glad to see IO uh, Interactive, uh, you know, thriving after being Interacting. let go from Square Enix, essentially. So, which is probably the best thing that happened to them. So, probably, yeah. Uh, real quick, they showed off Astro's Playroom. I assume this is another tech demo to help you understand how the controller works. Uh, that's how that's how the uh, the Astro thing was set up for uh, PlayStation Four. Uh, maybe there's a little game in there. I don't know. But moving on, whatever. That's yep. another mega hard pass. The well, I, think, I think that's probably going to come with the console, sir. If it's anything like the last one, <laughs> it's just going to come. Oh, with all right. Yeah. So I'll probably just ignore it then. Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't do the last one, just that's like on your PlayStation 4 right now, you're probably oh, just going to... Oh, it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on there now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, my wife digged it, so... <laughs> but anyway, uh, the next game here was probably the one surprise game that, that really kind of caught me, and this is right up my alley, so I get it if nobody else felt this way. Uh, Little Devil Inside. Um, I'm good. The... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good also, fam. Uh, yeah. This one looked interesting. It looked like something was going on. It looks like two worlds are happening at the same time. I don't know. One's in his head. One is not. I don't know. It looked interesting. I like the art style. I like everything I saw about it. That one caught my eye and uh, is already on my watch list. Uh, and that is also coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Wii U, apparently. Whoa. No, oh, this is this is old Wait, here. Hold what? Is that to be old? Did you say Wii U? I say, <laughs> that's, I can show you this uh, screen. Little Devil Inside. So this has been in production for quite some time, guys. <laughs> Evidently, wow. Uh, Clearly. Yeah. So who knows what's coming out to? But anyway, they showed it off. I liked it. Moving on. Uh, NBA Two K Twenty One. Good to know oh that God. there's sports involved. All right. Uh, on. You can see more sweat now. Yes, I yeah. know. And oh you can God. spend more money on microtransactions also and loot boxes. I am and, and more sweat. And yeah. more sweat. Yes. Let's get the, yes. Move, move the fuck on. Uh, then we saw Islands of Bug Snacks. And uh, let's, get the, let's move the fuck on. Yeah. I, I, had, I still. I, I've watched it twice and still don't know what the hell that shit is no, about. Yeah, anyway, that no. was fucking weird. Strawberry yeah. hands. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Fine. That's uh, I don't know. Somebody was high making that game. Yeah. Uh, somebody was maybe they trip should... making a game. Probably. This is actually this you know what they should have been. Yeah. No. Fuck that. <laughs> this anyway, next one though. Demon this Souls yes. remake by Blue Point Whoa. Games. Uh, I think Blue Point is making a name for themselves as the remake masters. Uh, yeah. They what you think? For a long time. D- Demon Souls. All right. First off, have either of you played this game? I have. No. You have. Okay. Did you finish it? No, I don't finish those type of games. I play them to enjoy them, but that's, that's be Where's real. the enjoyment coming? Like you know, actually beating the game. Listen, I know my limits, okay? <laughs> so I haven't beaten a single Dark Souls, Bloodborne, whatever you name it. Those type, of, those they require uh, Neo, not even Neo. I beat. All right, so that should tell you. And Neo was the easier one of them all. All right, to me, this one is the hardest of them all. This is this is the hardest of them all. all right, I can't I, wait to I, I can't wait to give it a shot. I'll be honest with you. I can't I have wait not- to go back, man. Yeah. Fuck. That shit is crazy. I mean, the first time I played this game was I was on the PlayStation 3, and I died so much. I, have, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And for whatever reason, I still pushed through. I still grinded. I lost thousands upon thousands of souls. But I managed to beat it. And, you know... The, the game has uh, as a new game plus, right? And you start with all of your shit, which I'm a super fan of that. And I was super excited. So I start my next round. I'm like, now I'm going to own this game. Fuck this shit, right? So I go into the first world or whatever, because there the, the world is different. You go through a hub. You go through portals. Unless they change it, but I doubt it. And I see the first skeleton. I go up to fight it. This dude hits me twice, and I'm dead. And I'm like, it's it's... And I cleared like, I'm done. the credits roll. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm good, fam. I think I've seen all that I need to see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not going to do all of that shit again. Thank you. <laughs> but you I go. can't um, wait. I can't wait to actually and quite literally do it all over again. I I want to give it a shot. I remember uh, playing. I, I only started these type of games at Dark Souls. The first one, and I couldn't I, because of Blythe Town and all the freaking technical issues that shit had. I couldn't get up, but I was all in, all in on that game. Um, but I knew about Demon Souls. Never went, never got a chance to get to go back oh, to it. And by, so by the time, by the time I was like willing to do so, I think the servers were being shut off, and it's like, oh, never mind. Um, but. I remember Dreamy tell me about it back in the day, uh, and he, he he explained to me a specific incident where I think he got cursed or something like that, and suddenly you were uh, stuck with half of your hell, uh, life I mean, bar. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that shit happened to me too. Towards the end of it all, he was like, "Fuck this game." <laughs> that yeah. shit happened to me too. I was stuck like that for a while. To be fair, those those. Those type of games are, are great. I was also very down. When I was playing Demon, uh, Demon Souls, I was very down on it. But it just, it, it's, you guys know me. I, I gave me an ADD. The next thing comes in, oh, flashy thing. I, I need to play it. So I didn't have the patience to continue with it, you know. But if I, I, I know that it is an awesome game. And, and, I, and, and I'm almost tempted to say, yeah, I'll probably give it another shot. I just know that, yeah, I'm going to give it another shot means I'm going to play for three hours and then be like, okay, d- goodbye, $60. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank sir. you for playing. Yeah. Well done. Uh, obviously, this is a console exclusive uh, to... Again. Oh, by the way, yeah. Um, by the way, going back real quick to Little Devil Inside, I got the update. It is actually PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC. Uh, is what that's coming to. So no, Wii U. Open. Are you sure? No, we. Well, no. I mean, you know. Sorry, Wii U now. owners. Sorry, Wii U. All three of you. The yeah, exactly. Uh, next game uh, they showed was from uh, Arcane Studios. Death Loop uh, looked kind of interesting. I don't know. Oh, oh. I hold. don't know. Yeah, I'll hold yeah. my my uh, 
my I'll wait. This is wait and see to see what the hell that's about. But uh, this is the this is a Bethesda joint. This is a Bethesda joint, and the 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 graphics and the gameplay. It like the whole thing felt so disjointed and disconnected. You know what they were going for. Like, is this supposed to be like a like a throwback to? 70s but grindhouse like yes weird. that's exactly what yeah. i got from it yeah yeah but why are they mixing it with all this all this shit you know uh like i don't know it it, it gave me a, a a we happy few vibe and that's not oh, a good yeah. vibe to have <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah i think yeah. It, it, gave me, it gave me a we happy few vibe but the first time I saw We Happy Few vibe, not the yeah, second. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, okay, and yeah. so I was like, I was like, I okay, this looks like it could be okay. It could um, be interesting. Don't get yeah, me wrong. it could be interesting. Wait, it was see, just... I didn't like, I didn't like the fact that he killed someone and his and the body just kind of whoop disappear. I was like, oh, really? It's like yeah. that. Yeah, that type of stuff yeah. is like that was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no me gusta, no me gusta. Uh, but other than that, that's that's definitely a wait and see. Uh, next game was Village Resident Evil. Eight, uh, I'm in. I don't care what you guys say. I'm sorry. I, I must have missed the Resident Evil part because I never saw it. Really? Because it didn't look like well at first, but then, then as 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 the trailer progressed, it almost it's funny because oh, as the trailer progressed, it almost also the graphics progress or something. Because I was ready to call this at the beginning, like okay, this is the game that looks the roughest. Or is my stream bad? <laughs> I'm gonna like, say I your stream know. is bad because I looked at it again, uh, and it looks good. Uh, early on, when you see the old man and he pulls, they, they pull the guy out of the closet and all that, and it looked good, even on my a rough stream. And then when I rewatched again, it's like, oh yeah, this looks this looks interesting. Uh, this is obviously on the RE engine, so make no mistake, this is gonna look really good. And if it's oh, gonna yeah, be next gen, be it's gonna be it's even gonna be sick. better. Um, so. I'm in because I play Resident Evil 7 and that was great. I mean, that was Resident Evil finally saying, let's get back to what we what we do best. Yeah. Uh, and, and that to be was fair, this looks like it's also going in that direction, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah. Ethan. He's talking to Ethan, the same character from the from the seven uh, is the one that sure. who stands over um, when you see Chris Redfield, who, for whatever reason, looks completely different. Uh, from the Chris that we've ever seen before, but whatever. Maybe they uh, he laid off he laid never. off the steroids. He well, he's still kind of big, but he definitely wasn't punching boulders. So yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, two more. We have Pragmata, which is a a game from uh, Capcom. And let me tell you, when I first saw it, I was like, Kojima, is he doing something? Uh, this is the one where you saw the astronaut with the little girl in the middle of a city. And that's about the only thing that I can clearly oh, say. Yeah, happened. yeah. I I didn't quite follow that shit at all. <laughs> Me either. Uh, that's definitely a wait and see. I I I don't even know what it's about. Um, it looks crazy and kooky and very Kojima like, but there is yes, only one Kojima. Absolutely Kojima. Absolutely Kojima like. I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt only because Capcom has been on a roll lately. Yeah. So agree. And they they're probably I, looking I, at it like, hey. If Kojima can can release Death Stranding, we can do our shit. Yeah, we can do our own weird shit. Yeah. For real. <laughs> For sure. That shit has Kojima written all over it. Is uh, it? If not, it, it was the. It's heavily influenced. Yep. Yep. Can't yeah. wait. For and heavily time. under the influence. <laughs> I would definitely say both. <laughs> Somebody's. I don't know. Somebody's. Uh. Uh. Dream. Yes. All right, and then the last, of course, the showcase yes. game that they showed, Horizon Forbidden Woo! West, and yes. it was Can't yeah, me either. <laughs> this is like this is great. First off, good job, uh, Chaos, uh, for the prediction. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the name, Forbidden West? It's fitting. It is fitting, right? I'm glad they didn't go Horizon Zero Dawn two. That's true. Yeah. 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 yeah, me too. Uh, the names actually Co- Zero Dawn Rise. obviously had a had a purpose in the original game, so it's it obviously makes sense. Uh, looks like she's heading towards the West Coast uh, from what we've seen. So 
uh, she looks like she'll be able to go underwater and do a lot of different stuff. So it looks like obviously they're expanding it. Uh, Lance is back. Um, the black dude with the weird blue lights on his forehead or on his head. Oh, and, um, yeah. and uh, yeah, it looks, it looks exactly what I want from a horizon sequel. So yep. can't I am wait. Super stoked about this. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I'm happy to see. I'm happy to see. I can't wait to play it. Agreed. 100%. Uh, and then finally, they finished the show with, of course, the console reveal. Guys, what did you think of the, the look of the console, of the PlayStation 5? I think it looks slick and gorgeous, and I want one. I think... <laughs> and I want one now. I think... I, I, I think it, it, it depends on how... how what, what does slick mean? Is that like thin? Because that shit is not thin. <laughs> no, no slick just... does not mean uh, thin. Slick just okay, means great. it's another way of saying cool or 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 fancy. Or, you know what I mean? It looks Move, sexy. You know? It's almost like you can cool. say, yeah. "Man, this console looks sexy." And yes, yeah. I will stand by it that the console, the the digital console, fits oh, both of them that... relax. <laughs> fits them within look, that man. that sexy. Uh, There's nothing uh, wrong with the one with the disc. <laughs> I didn't say uh, there's nothing wrong. I didn't say there was nothing wrong. That's not what you heard from me. I'm just mm-hmm. saying that the other one looks much more sleek. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want my console to have less features. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, but no, the 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 the, the console. The, <laughs> the first thing, my reaction when I when they when they spend like a minute showing all you know the the little gravity balls or whatever the hell you want to call them just like i wanted to see the ship i'm like come on you guys have been doing this on the transition just show me the goddamn shape and then the music changes pace and oh my god the look, comes all on screen and i can't help but laugh <laughs> but it was not a laugh it, it, I literally do i started laughing uncontrolled uncontrolled but it was not a laugh as seeing mm-hmm. like mock, mocking it it was not a laugh it was like Holy shit! They went there. They yeah. just created the craziest looking, like most alien wear looking shit you can alien wear for sure. imagine. <laughs> uh, the the first thing, because and, and, and I think my mind at one point like it, it couldn't it couldn't um, settle it. So there was part of my mind that saying, "Dude, this looks like the coolest shit." ever you know and then the other part of, of, of my mind was like dude this looks like one of those 1000 in one game consoles that you can find at walmart no or, it uh, does or not a, dude, listen I, I, listen I before it before, does not look listen, like that <laughs> listen 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 because i know that was gonna trigger a few of you no hey no uh, that's your opinion and i'm not i'm not taking it away i'm just i feel uh, I, I would agree with the other thing where it was please, like, please, it looks- please, I'm not done yet. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, when you look at the, it, it, I, it was hard to find an example uh, on 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 Google, but I did see a couple because I had just watched a couple of re- Rest, uh Rest is a YouTube channel uh, shows about the worst consoles ever, and they will show these consoles that obviously they were trying to look like. Different and 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 uh, or, or, and of course you have the other ones that they're trying to mimic you know the same look of the current consoles but it, it was that quality of like holy shit you know and and I know you guys didn't think of it that way that's cool to me though at one point it looked like a fucking router yes at one point will, it still looks it like a router. like one of those consoles and <laughs> but. But that's why I say having a night over it and, and looking at the at how it goes side, you know, how you can actually lay down sideways and not necessarily have it in that tower uh, uh, position. It looks like it, it looks exactly like what you want a centerpiece of your entertainment center to look like, you know, something that calls the attention. It's not just a black shoebox. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to trigger 
other people here either, but after looking I, at this, yeah, yeah, I still I still like the uh, like the series S look. I oh yeah, I me can too. appreciate I can appreciate where they're going for, and yeah, I like it. Um, here well, I agree. Not, it's not taking any. Yeah, the, the first, here I can definitely agree. It 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 the immediate thought was oh. First off, the same thing. I was like, "Holy crap! It has gills." <laughs> so for the answer, this, this console has gills. Why does it have gills? Right? Uh, and that was the in- the initial thought, and then it just kind of panned out. I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." And then, yes, my immediate thought because I have a I had a modem that kind of looked a little bit similar to that, much smaller, yeah, but still a little similar. Did. So I was like, "Oh, it kind of looks like this modem I had from freaking uh, this cheap ass shit that I had," but. As it kept going, as it, as it presented itself, it's like no, it it looks, it has a very very uh, sexy look. And on top of that, I, I appreciate them uh, because when you see the when you you show it off the Dual Sense, it's like the Dual Sense is already showing the blueprint of what the console is going to look like. You know, it's like yeah. it has to, right? It's, it, you look at every yeah. other uh, console, including Xbox, it's like they, you know, one kind of reflects the other. Yeah. Uh, so they have, so by they have- seeing. It's a whole design language. Correct. Yeah. So by seeing the the, the dual sense, it's like, well, obviously, this is what they were going to be going for. It's just I, I didn't put it, it together sense. as to the colors, you know, uh, yeah. or the, the actual whatever. But overall, no. I and I kid. I I I, I am I kid a little bit <laughs> when it comes to the <laughs> to the to the disc one. Uh, but I think I'm leaning really hard into getting the digital only one, uh, and I. It just both of them, both of them really look really, uh, really cool. It's funny because they also look like uh, the Avengers Tower in in some way. But uh, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it reminded <laughs> me of the uh, the the obelisk in that space. Oh, the obelisk, yeah, yeah. I know what yeah. you're talking if about. You're yeah. Looking from the bottom to the top, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you guys uh, better have some space because this motherfucker is big and hefty. And, and and fat, you know, it's it's going to be, it's it's basically dwarfing the PS3, and some reports are com- uh, are comparing it. And of course, they do the they do the comparison by by uh, doing approximations to okay, see, this is the controller, and they're mm-hmm. showing it side by side. That this is probably what the, the what the what the shape of you know what the size of it is, and they're comparing it to the size of the of, of a CDI. You know how big is a CDI? A CDI, a, 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 the old, a, a, the old, was it the Panasonic the old, CDI? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, wow, it's, Sony nailed it with the with the with the shape because probably they they knew that they had a problem with the size because they can't make it small. They can't make it slick and small uh, because because of cooling. It won't issues. stand out. No, no, no cooling, because no. Of cooling issues. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I think yeah, they it, both. I think they both uh, went with the top cooling uh, option. We both of them. Uh, Series X has it on top, and I think those gills that I was mentioning at the top, those yeah. are also uh, exhaust ports for for uh, for cooling. So, so yeah, I think I think yeah, I agree. They didn't really have uh, you know much to work, uh, much space to work with if they were going to go smaller. So they had to figure, hey, we'll go big. I don't care. Yeah. I'll make room. So I'm all right with it. <laughs> As long as, as long as you, as like you said, as long as it doesn't suddenly sound like it's gonna, it's a jet engine that's just gonna end up taking off at some point. Well, that's that that's the difference, right? Because a lot of people see, you know, I, that's one of the, that's one of the uh, critiquing that you hear about other, and I'm talking when referring back to previous generations, is like, oh my god, you know, it's it's so, you know, it's, it's gigantic. Oh, this thing is ridiculous, and this and that. Uh, yeah, but there's a difference when 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 you have something like that that just looks like a like a big big box versus oh this has to be big so if it's gonna be big at least let's let's make it uh, appealing you know let's make it curvy let's make it in a shape that that people will focus more on the curve of it and the design rather than holy shit. This shit doesn't fit on my on, on my uh, entertainment center. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Uh, any final thoughts on the console, the games, 
the show itself. I want it I, now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit more. I, I wish more I can oblige uh, you of that. Uh, 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 Chaos. What's up, sir? <laughs> uh, the the I, I first. I, I'm very glad to hear that they are focusing on that. That cooling is a big focus of this system because if that was something that was annoying about you know my. OG play, the PlayStation 4 and then the PlayStation 4 Pro was the fucking jet engine sound that will that that will run. Uh, and now I hear reports that that Last of Us 2 will make your your oh your for sure melt. Yeah. 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 So I'm kind of glad that they're focusing on that. Um, I'm 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 disappointed that they well obviously that was there was no there was no VR. But that's not my disappointment because VR is dead. Let's face it. Um, I was disappointed that at this stage we still haven't gotten uh, any pricing information, and I feel like this should have been the, the time to talk about pricing because, if especially if you're planning on releasing on, on a holiday, and at some point you have to imagine you have to start opening, you know, pre-orders, right? Uh, and the fact that they keep holding on uh, on the pricing leads me to believe that they're really struggling with it. They're probably still fr- you know, trying to figure out this is not going to be... Even the digital model, uh, uh, the digital uh, edition model is it's not going to be cheap. Uh, not that we we're expecting them to be, but they, it, 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 puts, it, it puts me on, on uh, okay, uh, should I be worried? Is this going to be... Another five hundred ninety nine US dollars fiasco. Uh, I, I think it. I think it will be, but I don't think it's going to be a fiasco. I don't. I think. I think we're we're past that point. I think the PlayStation Three at five hundred ninety nine US dollars is a fiasco because, like, dude, why? this doesn't need to. Yeah, this doesn't need to there be that. Was a powerful machine back in the day, just it, like this one. Could well, I mean, yeah, five hundred ninety nine US dollars is not a price you want to go back to. True, but five hundred nine U uh, five hundred ninety nine US dollars in two thousand seven versus two thousand twenty is not the same. Um, it's still a hefty buy in, no doubt. Okay, How that's not something easily somebody can just drop on any. You know, just here's here's six hundred bucks. Think, so I'm not saying think about it, our it, current think about our current world situation. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what I'm getting. It's not easy for someone to do it. And then on top of that, you know, you look at the scenario we're in, where it's like, oh. You know, me people have been out of jobs for months now, and God knows if they'll be able to go back to that particular job when shit goes back normal, because that company may be closed. You know, because companies are closing. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, no, I get that, I, I get that. But I think what what's happening here, and the reason why we're not getting it, uh, is because it's really, you know, th- th- both of them are just kind of playing chicken. Like you go first, no, you go first, no, you you tell us yours, no, I, so we can then stay out. I I I get that they're all, you know, all you know in a big staring competition but at some point one of them has to give right and oh, if sure. we're every, and and if i i feel like microsoft is laying a lot of their car on on the table you know early enough and and by the way they let's not forget they still have some sort of event happening in in july which they tout is like their real event Mm-hmm. Uh, quote, you know, quote unquote, uh, or not quote unquote. I'm not quoting them. Sorry. Um, but but they haven't been so. How can I how can I say that they they are they they don't seem to be struggling that much with the pricing as Sony does. The, the, the Sony part is you're getting news reports from everywhere, and and, and it's and everything has been thrown in. It's you know I've heard everything from. You know, uh, four ninety nine to eight hundred dollars. You know, and and I don't know what to expect. And and the more I weigh, the more I'm concerned. You know, uh, also the fact that they're playing with this, they they have two. You know, this two skews situation is okay. Cool. A lot of people are, are vouching that they're gonna get the digital edition, but if, if you go that route, first of all, it doesn't cost that much to add a blu-ray believe it or not it's literally like twenty dollars 
uh, when you're buying it on that bulk level, uh, I'm talking about not when you mm-hmm. go out to the best buy. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you buy them, uh, uh, adding that, it's, so 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 making the excuse is surely not going to be a hundred dollar difference, like a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be. It, at most, it'll probably be a fifty dollar difference. And at that state, at that stage, if it's just gonna be a fifty dollar difference between consoles, I'm gonna shoot for the one with the disc because guess what? I select the digital version, and I can kiss backwards compatibility goodbye unless I'm willing to rebuy the games, you know, or hope that Sony has some sort of trading program, which obviously they're not gonna have. Uh, so I can't play any of my disc games that I bought. Uh, a uh, and B. Uh, I, the, well, also, let's not forget, there's no movie playback, you know, on it, but that's okay, because we all have our movies digital anyway, so who cares? Uh, no, but the, 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 the other part, aside from the digital, uh, from the backward compatibility is that now I'm stuck at buying almost all my games at full price. Because you know the Sony store is not going to be giving you you know, a hefty percentages like you can get on, you know, on retails, like, like for example, Amazon on, pre-orders on, used to give you almost 10 dollars. Perhaps, 12, maybe, 12 yeah, dollars. well, maybe not and on, I, like, new new stuff that's coming out, right. but... That's what I'm talking about. I, it, that's, yeah, that's what I I'm can, referring to. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah well, yeah, that's... Yeah. that's uh, honestly, I, I don't see that as as an... It was cool yeah, when, when Amazon was doing it, but I've, again, I've stopped buying uh those type of things and i've been buying only digital and yeah i like i just paid I, 60 bucks for I, for for the uh for for last of us too it's yeah, like it, fine. It, i know it's going to where it needs to go to you know what i mean it, but it, they that, do that's have cool. that's cool and all but i haven't i haven't paid full price for i haven't played a full 60 dollar uh price for a game in, in a while every now and then there's one or another but for the most part most of the games that i bought the the physical the, the physical uh copy i'm able to get at some sort of discount whether if i forced if i'm forced to buy it dig, dig, and that happened with with final fantasy 7 that's happening with my copy of last of of last of us 2 uh and and a, and a lot of a lot of new games that are coming out because if you shop around rather than just getting it from one place, you can find a better deal. And, no, no, and, and you're right. I don't want to take that away from me. You know. Well, the, the issue is I? that I think I think you're missing the point that little by little it's going to go away. You know what I mean? Right now, and maybe it has maybe it has a lot to do with the uh, the fact that we have a pandemic going on in this. But since the beginning of the year, we're past. We're past the point where over sixty percent of of all games are being bought digitally. That is more than that. That's going almost on seventy. That's almost uh, literally almost three quarters at this point. It's it's unfortunately it's going that way. Now, yes, you're right. You're probably not going to get it immediately uh, um, on a sale, but sales happens. A sale happens quick. This is not Nintendo, you know, where it's always going to be sixty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. You literally, uh, Resident, you Evil, literally said, Resident Evil oh, 3 this that way. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it, it, that's the way it's going. It, it, which, is, which is true, right? Yeah. But it doesn't but it does it hasn't happened yet. I, I can hold, I, I'm not saying I'm going to oh. buy all my <laughs> games. I I'm not going to say I'm going to buy all my games uh on this because you know I don't do that. You know, for the most part, if yeah. it's a game that I know is going to be patched to hell, I'm just going to go buy digital unless I find a good deal somewhere. And I, if I still, for as long as I have that option, yeah, that's I'm gonna, fine. I, yeah, I'm that's gonna, that's go fine. That and that's, now. and obviously that's a very, uh, uh, you, you know, that's very, uh, prudent uh, of you to go that route and frugal and, and you know, for, for you to use that method to make sure you, you get that. But less and less people are doing this. So I'm just saying, you're, you're, it, 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 I get your reasoning, but little by little, it's the, you know, it, it's, it's like you're trying to hold back a wave. You can't. You're only going to stop the water that's right in front of you. <laughs> you know, because they're not going to not do anything else, especially when everything's going there. And the fact that uh, Sony has done this and 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 committed to having a digital only box. And yes, oh by the way, Xbox is doing the same thing with Lockhart. You know, saying it's just the way it's going to go. Uh, and so for me, I feel like pff, I'm already there anyway. 
Let me just let me just okay with paying $60 away. because it's gonna happen in the future. The what? You're okay with paying full price for the for you games right now because it's gonna happen. It's already future. gonna happen, yeah, exactly. Or I can wait a little bit and get it on sale. And the sales happen quick. Like I said, this guy just got a uh, uh what's his name? Uh Adam. He just recently got Resident Evil 3. Uh I think like a, maybe a month ago, it was that already down to thirty nine ninety nine. I'm like, oh, there you go, dude. You're good. That's not even that old. Yeah, but the gaming culture doesn't. I, I, I feel, I feel like you're trying to justify it a little bit. Anyway, it's not a big argument to. to <laughs> no, I just wanted, I just idea. wanted to point out that hey, if the difference is gonna be fifty dollars, it's not worth losing backwards compatibility and losing. Uh, the opportunity to have a choice between do I want this digital or do I want this analog? Do I want uh, you know a nice collector's editions like I know a lot of people you know like uh, mm-hmm. and, and I I personally like uh, still you know still boxes you know or do I get the digital collection editions whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> you know I nowadays, it. I hate <laughs> it. it's like oh, I got the I, I I got the the soundtrack for Final Fantasy. Said I can only listen on my console. It, it that's you know that sucks. Yeah, that's what that that's that's what I'm talking. About. It's like if it's just gonna be fifty dollars, just fucking get the other one. At the end of the day, you're gonna be glad that you you know that 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 you did, regardless of when the digital feature comes, because. We have been touting this that you know we have been touting that shit since like the 360 era, and it hasn't happened yet. And the fact, the mere fact <laughs> that this console companies haven't committed to fully digital only consoles proves you that they're not ready for it yet. That they're but, going there, but they're not um, ready. They, they, they literally just are. We are literally on the cusp. Of, sure, when they mentioned it back at 360 days, yeah, you guys are still a little early on this. Well, I'm not, not gonna lie. Early. What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> I think we lost chaos for a bit there. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's a shame because it it is an important thing to to, to know about. It is an I- important subject. I mean, let let us not forget that also there are people in the group. Actually, they don't have reliable internet yet because America, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. said, and that's, and, and that, yeah, and the, that particular option is still. It's still good, but I think for me and where I'm at, I'm just like I'm just I'm steering into the curve. Like eh, it's already curving that way. Let's just let's just go with it. You know what I mean? And that's why. You know what I mean? And I, I think I think there are a lot there who are already feeling that way anyway. And I think that these console manufacturers believe that, which is why they have two SKUs. They're saying it's that time. You know, and, oh, and so will definitely oh they they're ready for it because remember It'll it'll tie us up to their uh, to their store, which is better. You know, now you have to rethink game game ownership in a way. It does. Uh, it does. Uh, yeah. It, it it also does probably some serious. Uh, you know, <laughs> GameStop. <laughs> you know, yeah. your days Do were like numbered before. Uh, it is. It's significantly. It's not looking good. I wouldn't be surprised by the end of this year. If we don't lose uh, half of those, if not more, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just- and to be fair, it, it's I, I mean, it, it, look at Steam is a different. It, it's it's almost like a different thing, right? You you I actually get the deals on it. I don't know if it's because of the platform or whatnot. Uh, and when I mean I mean PC in general, actually, because I've gotten it on 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 uh, Epic, Epic Store. But yeah, but the difference is. Is because I'm still, even though I'm I'm buying the games digitally, I'm still getting it from several different sources that compete against one another to give me the best the best price. That's another platform where I rarely spend uh, have to spend full price because even if I can save even ten dollars, that's a win. <laughs> you know? And uh, the problem is, console manufacturers, Microsoft is not going to do that. Uh, Sony is not going to do that. Microsoft, the most that it'll give, that it'll do, uh, is Game Pass, and it's because they're losing the console race, and they're gonna and and they're positioned already to not very well on this one. Let's be honest. But so far. Uh, yeah, so and 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 
in the case of Sony, well, because they don't really have any incentive, you know, <laughs> everybody's going to go digital and everybody, you know, you're not going to buy, you try to buy a digital game, a digital Sony game from Amazon. And I guarantee you, it'll cost you full price. Cause... Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. And it makes me laugh. I'm like, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we're good with <laughs> Chaos was uh, silent for a little bit. I don't know if he had. I know his final thought was he wants it now. Yeah. No. Okay. All that right. that still stands. <laughs> that's that's still his sentiment. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in uh, to an awesome episode uh, regarding the PlayStation Five reveal. The real episode two hundred and fifteen. As always, please go to goodgame.rocks. Join the conversation there. And, of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. Sir, Mr. Chaos Reaper. Oh, you kind of have to specify there, bro. Yeah, I realize that. <laughs> I got to get there for a second. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, was, I was very excited with the, uh, and very impressed with the reveal and all the games that were shown. Uh, I was very happy with it. So I'm very excited for this uh, console release for this holidays. Very excited for this holidays. Likewise, so. likewise, Mister Dreamy Twister, sir. I have some, I have some literature here uh, that would change your life. Uh, it talks about the sacred symbols. Have you ever heard about the uh-huh. sacred symbols? <laughs> Do you have time to talk about a sacred symbol, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, uh, I was one lost, but now I'm found, and I'm a believer now. <laughs> because of the sacred symbol. It's about time you guys <laughs> jump on this ship, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I've been on that ship for a while. You know that, right? I know. I'm I know. Uh, do I need but to clear my head? Or... Apparently, uh, sacred symbol's term is, is I don't know, it's just alien term for somebody. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. For normal people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. GG! GG!